Appreciate you, Frederick, too. But uh, again, when, when it comes down to your soul, you, you don't need nobody playing with you now. That, that, I told you, you know, we can laugh. Hey, put a check on the board. That's all fun. That ain't going to send nobody to Sheol. What's going to send you to Sheol is disinformation, misinformation. Once you transgress, once you violate, you're a candidate to burn forever. That means everything that you put into this, everything you walked away from, everything you gave up, listen, it was futile. You just wasted your time. Can you imagine that? How many of y'all are holding out? I'm just holding from things. So if you came here and you gave up holding out from whatever it is you resisted, and you're going to go to she hole on a technicality, does that make sense? You can, I mean, think about it. You wasted your time. Nobody who cares about you will ever let you do that. Nobody will let you out. I know they might say, that man's just fussing on people. You people have entrusted me with your soul. That's not something to be lightly played with. You go anywhere, people, hey, man, don't worry about this. That tongue is me tripping. Man, we, we got this. You a fool. Don't y'all know this is not secured until this man get back here? At any time, you can slip before he get back. Why the man tell you, let's say, any time you slip? What does that mean, at any time? The man said, listen, make care. Any time you can slip, what do I mean? Just go ahead and catch the key walking. Every step, I got to consider could be a slip and fall. And if somebody don't alert you like that, they don't care about you. Now, yes, sir, those are, listen, unplug your computer. Plug it up at another, another congregation. Listen to them. Let them go ahead and make a fool like you. They ain't everybody. But listen, you need somebody to stay on you. How many of us, if we get to relax, you're going to slip. You're going to mess up. You're going you're gonna to drop the fence. You don't need that. We've done that all our life. You can't afford to come through here and fail. Who can Somebody care about you, they want to let you do that. They say, no, I'm going to stay on you because I want to make sure you get this right. People put their time. It's, it's other stuff you could be doing. Don't for watch it. It wouldn't make sense to watch me and then go back to doing something wrong. You're wasting time. People say, well, I'm trying to grow. Let me tell you what I did. I procrastinated until listen to he forced my hand. I would have still been out there now. I would have still been out there listening, saying what I'm going to do. Man, my hand had to get forced. How many y'all? How many y'all watch me? Right, how many of y'all? First time you watch me, you said that's it. I'm, I came on, and you came the first time you seen it. How long did it take you though? Think about it. Two years. You hear what he said? He said, I but think, but then it's the reasoning why. I want you to understand where you at and where we've all been. When I first heard, I told you Romans. I mean, First Corinthians six and nine. First thing I heard. No, you not the unrighteous cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Be not deceived. I said, man, I never heard that before in my life. I was like, where this man get this stuff from? I'm like, this man not preaching no love. Wait, I mean, who coming to some stuff like that? I said, I get, but I had, I didn't even realize I remembered it. I went home, looked, found a book, and I went through and I looked and I seen that thing. It threw me, it changed my whole world. I said, I never heard that. I never heard it. I came out looking at my pastor when he was preaching. I was just kind of thinking to myself, I never heard that before. He used to tell us if anybody doing something, he said, shacking up wrong. So it was a sin. He talked that. He said, if you're doing something, he said, you need to go home for the sun. Come to home. Said, yes, amen. That's it. And they, 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 he taught us that. That if somebody, listen, you're doing something, you need to go home for the sun come up. Otherwise, you're shacking. So when I heard 1 Corinthians 6 and 9, that, man, that, y'all, and I was shacking up. Oh, my goodness. Man, that thing threw my whole world. All I kept thinking about, I said, I never, I didn't talk. I just said, myself, I never heard that before. I was just trying to figure out why nobody, and I kept waiting for my pastor to say, you know, the preacher to say something. It wasn't coming. We just sang a song, we are one. Y'all remember that? We are one in the spirit. My wife, you remember that, Ain't Smith? Okay, just making sure. Ain't just, there's a lot of you don't forget. Just making sure, but but so, you know, and you were thinking we were unified, we were together. You realize, man, we weren't. We were just making a mess. We had comfortably, man. We had a couple of people be down. Folks divorced. The woman married. The man married. The other woman best friend. They moved from one side of the, where they sit to the other side. You know how crazy this was. You sit here. These, these folks be they'll be best friend. Then they come out. She banging the husband. Then they divorce. Then they get married. Then they move. Like they sit on this side. Then they move the other. We had three row, middle row, two outside. They just move the other side. And that's where they sit. Now you thinking? I'm sitting in the back, so I'm watching. You move. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Y'all move from over that side to sit on this side, and you were banging his. It's like I, you know, this. I mean, but it was normal. It was normal, and that's scary. That's scary. A lot of people died in there. A lot of people died. A lot of people died in there. The folks trying to go into heaven. No, I refuse to let y'all die like that. I refuse to do it to you. I rather tell you the truth. Get pissed, get mad all you want to. That's just where you're at. But I told you the truth because I care. Your choice what you want to do. I just ain't going to let you do it him. That's it. I ain't going to let I watched it. He, he let it happen. He'll remarry him. 
they were best friends and they got listen, they get married right there and just sit on the other side. And everybody be just the normal. The ex-wife still sit on the other side where they used to sit. The new husband wife sit on the other side. And everybody just keep going like it, and they come to the wedding. The wedding be there. You just be like. And this was this was normal. This was normal for everybody to know who banging who except for the husband. And so you're like, I was sitting beside that one guy, look, I said. Pastor Tom, I what a fine fella he was. They had me I was doing youth prayer. I looked at man, I just wanted to tell I wanted to tell that man. Do you know how many guys in here banging your wife? He said him like a fool. He traveled because he went out of town a lot. Go cry. Oh, his wife get tore. He was tearing him up too now. He watched the you just like. And everybody looking at you, and everybody knew itself for you. It's like, you don't feel like, I mean, how you feel if you find out? So everybody knew itself for me. And this would be normal. So I see enough stuff, man. Churches make me just disgust me. It just disgusts me with it. It just disgusts me. Just disgusts me. I don't want to just, you know, religion, how they just allow stuff. And everybody just like, man, I mean, that's what it is. And everybody good with it. I ain't good with it. I'm not good with it. We didn't come here for that. This one established for that. We ain't going. He said two years for what? What do you say was the reason why you think it took two years? If you think about it, is your mic on again? It was just hard to lead a lifestyle. That's most of us struggle. What do you think? What to find a break to say? It's time to make that move. Stuff wasn't going right anymore. It wasn't clicking for me like it used to. See that? He turned to had to force your hand. That's the same thing. He had to force your hand. Y'all think, and you know what, if you just jump, hurt, and came, I don't know how long you consider. Some people just waiting to find. Some of us, it just took time. We heard and we know we're right, but it was like, I need to get right before I get there. How many of y'all had that? I, I need to get right before I get there. And, it, and then think about it. And then how you need to get right before you get him. So what was I going to be able to do for you since you were right when you got him? Yeah, where do you know? I'm going to go to the Come on, take, it, take me to the hospital. Hold on, wait, wait till I feel better. So once I feel better, I kind of hop in the judge. Jo- well, they said, well, it kind of, I mean, you ain't got the same symptoms. So, I mean, yeah, but I had them. I mean, but basically you ain't got them. Ain't a whole lot I can do. I mean, I hear what you're saying. It could have been, but we would have liked to have gotten you when you had the symptoms where we could have got a better idea. We could more or less narrow down. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, of course, yes, adjustments have to be changed and made. But sometimes the truth be told, we procrastinate it. I just want to put down everything I was doing. Some of that true, and some of it was I hesitated to put things down so I'd be justified. I'm just trying to get rid of everything before I come. How long did it really take to get rid of it? Just being honest. It should be immediate when it comes out of your soul. Person who chain smoker, they say, you finna die right now, let you stop smoking. What they say, hold on, let me try to get it. Or you think they're gonna throw that cigarette straight down? I gotta stop it now. They ain't gonna be like, I'm feeling I gotta stop it right now. And that's how we had to be, and that's what people out there gotta do, because I know the rationality is I'm trying to get stuff, trying to, I'm trying to get my home in order, get my stuff in order. They'll be making, and think about it, you, do your calendar. How long have you been trying to get your home in order? That's what I thought, way too long. It don't take that long. He told Cos, get y'all to set that house in order, he was going to die. How long, how long did it take him? What did he say, give me a couple of months? That man turned his face to the wall and wept to you. And he said, man, look at him. I ain't even ready yet. That man just told him, remember how I don't walk before you. That man already been keeping this thing. I already been halakha according to it. And he told him, he's like, if I got to go, I got to go. But I, I like some more time based off of how I've been serving you. We at the end of this thing. You done used up your 15 years. You can't afford to play. This thing coming to a close. It won't be long. This whole world going to ravel up. He going he gonna to roll this whole thing up like a scroll. He going to establish New Jerusalem. Why y'all think New Jerusalem is getting it torn up? You know how, let me tell you, you know how crazy it's going to be for me to own up a Walmart beside Walmart? How much did that make? You know what this man going to look at? He's going to take that one down. You're going to be desired for New Jerusalem. Who, nobody want to go there. Who want to go there now? Man, nobody want to go Who want to go there right now? Who want to go there? I still want to go. Man, you don't want to go there, do you? And that's the reason why. You got to be able to desire New Jerusalem. All way to desire a new one, the old one got to pass away. What did he say when a man became a new creature? So how they going to work? We got this Jerusalem and then his Jerusalem coming. No, old thing got to pass away. What old thing got to do? So how people ain't figured this out? How they ain't figured this out yet? That Jerusalem here has to be gone for the new one to come and be established. He told you the older rocks got to pass away. Why y'all think the oil, the, the disease, everything is tearing their place up? It's the turn. Listen, nothing they do at no CPAC meeting, nothing they do going to stop. Nothing the man done said. It's all allusion to these people. These dumb. Quit being dumb. 
There's nothing they're going to do to stop this. They just had another oil spill. Then he's not done with these people yet. Do y'all know oil burns in water? So what y'all think of the reason all the oil keep pumping in the water? How you going to set the rocks on fire and you got water? But if you let enough oil off in it. Y'all do know oil will burn in water, right? The only way to get water to burn is you're going to have to sit around. You got to put some, you got to put a flaming in it. I'm trying to tell you, these people are really not that smart. He the wrong person to play. You have a pipe burst. Uh, no. Go ahead and tell her what it is. The will of your who are being done. These people not getting it. Listen, I don't know. I think that's in the Gulf where this oil just spilled. They ain't even talking about that on the uh, Somebody look it up and say, Did you, how many of y'all didn't know that? Oh, they just had another, look it up and say, then they have an oil spill. Yeah, they just had an oil spill just the other day. They ain't done. Why are they going to talk about it? Try, guess what happened? You ain't going to want to go and buy no Christmas stuff. A lot of stuff you don't need to know. Yeah, who I want things give me think about that oil spill? What happened when that oil spill happened? Now your seafood finna got again get contaminated. They're going to get all the people who don't. Man, I quit eating chicken and beef. I don't eat nothing but fish. Yeah. Yo, so I'll stop you. Yeah. I'm going to stop you. I know, you got to eat healthy. How you going to eat healthy? All the rain acid. All the air poison. Where's your healthy food at? Quadruplant, you're going to get this, your lights. This is not natural. There's not a light that can imitate the shamash. It just cannot. There's other things. You're not going to get vitamin D from this light. They'll try it on babies when they're born here with this uh, yellow jaundice. Most kids got jaundice never ever seen before. Man. Used to be light-skinned kid. Now the dog one got jaundice. That's where we at. It's time to get right, people. All I'm doing is trying to help you out loud. I just want you to listen. All I would do is just keep you on a consistent pattern considering you need to make sure your confession you made, this one another hoax. You don't cry wolf a lot of times. You don't want to go back, and that's why I'm going to stand on top. I'll make sure I can't let you go back. I do your disservice. I know you might say he keep dreaming at home because I don't want you to fail. Nobody, why would somebody, anybody want you to fail? Why would you, why would you even associate with these people? That's crazy. If you're not for my betterment, do you, you know what you should, what, who should tell them? Whoever don't got it with me, against me. You see me picking and somebody standing around. You know what you say? That guy there against him. He said, I ain't against him. He gathering and you not working with him. He let everybody know. They could clearly see who were with him. He said, whoever ain't gathering with me, they're against me. He let everybody, he let them know off the roof. They looked at, look, you want to gather with him? They said, that person there against him. All of them against him. That's how he wanted on the table. Let them people know. He's like, these people not with me unless they work toward the same attribute. You got people. This is what I heard. This, this is what y'all look at. You got people in your corner, people that's in your ear. They're not for your betterment. Why? Why you still have these people in your association? Man, you learn to cut people off. You're not a bit. Cut them off. Take the law. Cut them off. Why? I don't let people feel me. I can't listen. Conversation people will feel you. I can't have everybody in my ear. I can't have everybody, man. You can't keep hearing but so much in your ear, it's going to register to your mind. That's, I'm trying to help you all out now. Listen, if, listen, once I know yet, listen, man, I don't pay that stuff no attention. I do just like knocking you. I send messages to them saying, I'm doing a great work. I can't come down. Why should the work see? Why should I leave to come down to you? Listen, you got to just learn. You got to listen. This associate, you know what you don't find rich people doing? Associating with poor people. Now, I know what you're saying. Because they think they better. Than, no, they kind of did the sign. A poor person going to beg, steal, and try to take from So they tend to learn to keep certain people out of their group. I'm just giving you a social. How many of y'all know rich folk that hang with poor people? Why do you think that is? Because they're going to be takers. So they try to get with other people that they community, they feel like they can do something for them. I'm just trying to get you to understand that. that now, that's just monetary economy. Why are you with people that can't feed and fuel you spiritually? What can they do for you? Let me see. You struggle a lot. You're behind spiritually. And then you got behind people with you. Yeah, isn't it? I mean, we just have to research and study, figure out what the problem is. It's just being honest. You just got to look at things differently. I know, I know people are going to hang on hell nobody. You'll be better. Yeah, I'd rather have nobody than have somebody taking me down just to say I got somebody. I'm just being honest with it. It's just, man, please. That's why I told you. That's why you got to be good with yourself first. I'm good with myself. Now I can go home, I can go to bed right now. Listen, man, I'll be good. Take me a gun, I'll go home and go to slap the dumb bed. Yes, sir. And, I, and I hope I don't pee on myself. Right. <laughs> ain't that right? I had that one little incident, but it was, it was so light, it ain't even worth talking about. 
It was like a, it was like a squirrel piss. It wasn't that. No, it wasn't that. We had to chain nothing. I was laying on my back. I had them dreams before, but I always get up. So I got good. I said, how many of y'all done had them urination dreams? You at that toilet. But you ain't do nothing. You be yeah. great. And you know what? I said, them just be dreams. Because yeah. yeah. when I, I realized, I had these dreams all the time. They, they don't be nothing. But this one I had, I done felt a little spring. I thought, did somebody cut a sprinkle on? Oh, my bad. I felt, I said, I said, I said, I said it probably wasn't that. I wrote that cover. I said, oh, my goodness. I said, where did it went? I said, it's just up here. Let me go ahead and go take a shower. Yeah. So it was a light moment. That's why it ain't worth talking about it. This shouldn't go nowhere. I want it in this room. And if it come back up, I will deny this. Kick live streaming on. <laughs> so it wasn't nothing. We had a quick little moment with the members to talk about some personal stuff where Hey would be having a little incidents and mistakes. That's mainly it right now. Y'all seen Hey with shirt? Last night I went that knock on head door. Y'all see the picture? What do he say he love? I definitely tell you, he love his job. And he sleep with his shirt on. I know I know he done turn and try to run. On the, he said on the back of his shirt, I love my job. I said, that's tight right now. <laughs> What's the chance I just throw that out there and, and I hit Haywood? That's it. They're going to find you. Wherever you are, they're going to find you. Y'all all right now? So I, I just want to explain to y'all why, um, like, in this, for those of y'all that want to get on that Zoom, when they get, you let us know, because we're going to put on that Zoom so we can make sure we can come. I want to watch them. I know I know someone going to start, oh, Granby is going to get caught so many times. <laughs> Granby, you're going to have so many checks. No, anybody going to the bathroom, you can't use the number two either. No number two. Be going out and took a nap and come back. Rubbing their stomach like they're on number two. Take the phone with you. We don't see your shoe. Let me tell y'all something else. I had walked out in the restroom. There's somebody pertinent been there. So I'm standing at the urinal. So it's a stall beside me. Okay? Y'all see my shoe pointed their way. They shoe pointed their way. But they, they, mmm. I said, I said, man, did these folks turn their feet around like this to kick just so they wouldn't get caught? I said, I ain't even want to know. They walked out behind me. I just seen a height. I said, I only want to see the face. But they, I said, because I caught, I said, that's mighty peculiar. I said, how they make a number two noise and you standing in urination position? That's some strange stuff. Right? I'm just walking out of the aisle, just look at you. That's all. I ain't going to, I'm trying to even say nothing. Can't start hot. I, I know it ain't me. Now, who are you trying to convince? <laughs> hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I've seen it. It's bad, too. <laughs> So whoever it is, you just answer in the spirit. How was you able? Yes, sir. What color? Just ain't no name. What color are the shoes? I'm not gonna tell you the shoes were white. That's I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No. There was another color, obviously, than black. That's best I could tell. You had to figure it from now. But um, yeah, every time I, feel, I know I heard the noise. Mm, I said, I'm trying to figure out. Mm. <laughs> All I know is stand. All I know is stay in the man. Huh? That was a pain in your throat. I ain't even called by the name. <laughs> what happened? I that man, how that man had a pain a number two in your throat when you number one? That <laughs> hurt. I ain't even saying the man just look at me like I was a pain in my throat. <laughs> That one, I know number two noise. I, I said, cause I, walked, I said, you know, cause you try to, you know, how you try to be professional. I can't worry about number. I said, I seen the shoe. I said, that doesn't know. I heard him come out of there, and I heard that tissue. You hear that tissue thing talking? About, boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? And it really want a whole lot, like though. You know what I'm saying? We hear that. Y'all know. I'm telling you something. Them tissue, them things that give you away. Y'all know some of them run there. Boom, 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 boom. Them tumblers in there like a save. Y'all better get that quiet one. I heard that. Doom, 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 doom. I said, that's not enough. I just, I, think about this. A doom, doom, doom. So that just come down, they part of your hand. A doom, doom, doom. You need it because you got to rewrap. 
to be safe. At this point, that man finna get some spots in his hand. So all I'm saying, be careful. That's all I'm telling folks. And you know, I just thought about it. No, no, because they look, no. But you know, how you pick that cop sit here? And I heard this, dum, 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 dum. And then I seen it walk behind me. So I was so thrown on how your feet are number one, but you did number two. So I wasn't even there yet. Now I'm putting this back together. I ain't here no. God, that should have been at least, you know what I'm saying? I actually heard it. You know, and you got to let it run for a second. I'm counting them runs. Yeah, I said, hold on, hold on now. Man, them, them, them tip or what? That that, 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 the tip right here. Yeah, and then and go through that like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tight right here. Mike, I don't want to say who it is. Everybody just got to figure out who it was. Did you, did you get to stop by that though? The tip. Y'all seen it? I seen it. I seen it. When I had the man, I said, you stop it. He said, he said, you remember preacher said, you ain't, if you don't answer, you ain't lying. Sometimes you don't answer, we know the truth, too, though. Now, did you get to stop by the same? I'm talking, I know, I probably said in a way they're kind of street. I'm talking about stop by it and like it, let it run. Okay, I, I'm too street. Put your hands under it with the soap and the rub in and then. That way too long. Me, and you, mother, our conversation took longer than it took me to go in there. I don't even remember all that. Yeah, Cause I heard the number two noise. I heard the doom 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 doom. He said with number one it was somebody in the throat. It was a number two noise. Then I don't remember the war. I remember the door open saying BAM! And then he went behind me. <laughs> Cause I thought somebody, you know, black, you think somebody's shoe. So you like, so I said, I don't want to see the face. I just caught the shoe for some. I said, I said, I don't even want to know who it is. But the water didn't hit me because I'm still thrown on. Is your knees hurting? I don't know how they did that. Because I was sitting at my feet. Try to turn it, sit down. I can't do it. Can anybody else do it? Like, stand your feet up here, but turn your hip around and sit on the toilet and leave your feet pointed that way. Anybody know how to do that? So what y'all saying Mike did? That tight right now. That tight. We'll reassess that later on then. We'll, that's, that's all I'm saying. So you're going to get them set up so we're going to event. We're going to have, oh, yeah. So that way I can see the member. I need them and uh, make them start, make sure they try to stay up. Because they, they count on me, and I'm counting on them to do their job. Who are counting on all us to take a stand? These last Rosh Yamin, these days, we got to make sure we got this right. Y'all got it? Did y'all consider last, uh, Layla? Y'all remember I talked to y'all after uh, the camera when I did it. Y'all probably didn't catch something I did, did it? <laughs> I don't know. How many of y'all didn't catch it? How many didn't catch it when I talked with y'all? I told y'all to switch position with some people. And I told you, don't even worry about it. How many of y'all caught it? How many of y'all didn't catch it? It didn't strike out. Oh, you caught it. Come on, let me see. Come on, let me see where you're at. No, come on, I'm going to see if you caught it. Hey, no, I'm going to check it out. Come and see if you caught it. Come on, come on. No, last stream was still on. You preaching. <laughs> come on, man, man. That man said, the last stream was still on. You were preaching. <laughs> that man thought, let me think. Did you think you weren't getting no check today? You want to think about it. You know when you come, you're getting a check, right? You're in them anchor. Every time we get a check, you'll get a check. Kev, you finna be what, 47, 48? You finna be 49. You 49. Kev, you were what when you can have 30 what? 32. <laughs> Hold on, Kev. Come on, Chris. <laughs> What is wrong with that man? You know, I'm, I'm, all right, I'm, all right, hold on, let me ask you. Let me come, let me tell, I'm going to point them to how old they are. You tell me how old they are. I'm going to point them. You ready? Yes, how much time you going to need? Instantaneous. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick somebody. Pick somebody. Yosha. 
What you want? What you Come want? Come on. What you want? How old was she then or how old was she now? Well, who all knew what the question was? How old was she then or how old was she now? All right, how old was she when she came? She was 26. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. How old are you, Yosha? 26. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Like Still, I don't know. Come on. Dwayne. Now or then? Then. 27, 26, 27, 27, 27, 27. How old are you? I don't know. <laughs> come on. 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 He, he, he probably, yeah. 29. How do you now, Dwayne? I'm trying to do the math. I came here like in 2013. 2013? No, no, you came with Leon? No, 2013. No, but he joined in 20, 2011. I joined in 2011. 2011. 2010, called Leon. They came together. I was 29. I was 29. No. He was 29 when he came. Mm -mm. How do you now? When Stasha need to know how I old are you. Huh? When you came. Yeah, in 2010. He said I joined in 2010, but I came and visited. No, I, I met you when I came and visited. Right, so how old you been? What, what was the year? 2010. 2010. 2010, I was, I was okay. You said 2011 before. So that's 28. 28. 28. So I ain't got to put my name on them. No, you do, man. Name and extra check. What are you talking about? Uh, Joanna and Boxing put their name on that too. No. Aha, uh -huh. come put a check for you, wise young. Boston. They want your two checks from yesterday. He got a two check. Yeah, they got. That's for you. Your wife, that's for two, my son. Thank you. Thank you. 20 something. He's 20 something. Look at him. All right, hold on. We got somebody else. Justin. Now and then. Then. He was 25, 26. 25, 25, 25. Yeah. 24. 24. 24. It's still. Two months late. I knew it. Get another check. You can't do that. You can't do that. Two check. How you do that? All right. Two weeks later, actually. You got your two checks off him. Yeah. How old was Boston? How old are you, Boston? Yeah, 20. Hold on for a minute. Look how you said it. Are you trying to help him or us? Yeah, what's up? Oh, no. All right, I'm saying. All right. All right, how old is Danielle? Being what's she doing? Okay, how old is she now? I don't know how she, how old she is now, but I know how old she is. Are you a, why you ask? You could have me then and now like you knew her age. I knew her age then. All right, well, how old was she then? She, she was done? 23, 22. 23, I want to say 22. 22. How old are you? 25? 23? Oh, that's pretty good. Uh -huh. uh, how about Rashida? Then or now? <laughs> Which one you know, Chris? Which one you know? <laughs> then or now? Then. She was, I think she was 33. Oh, shoot. 33. <laughs> All right. All right. How old is Chanel? She was 21, I want to say. Maybe 20. I think she was 20. You were 20? I'm trying to tell now. They call him a surgeon. All right. How old was Sandy? I want to say she was maybe 21. 23. 23. Oh, getting that 21. Ain't bad, though. Oh my good! What you mean? She that old? Like she was gone? Like she was no, ancient? When you first came, you were twenty one. And when you joined, you were twenty three, though. Thank you. We got Danny. Danny back there. Look. No, Danny she said. no, she didn't join when Danny joined. Then you joined with Danny Listen, joined. She didn't join with Danny joined. <laughs> how you keep on? How you know? I know everyone even. I know all your members. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How old was Malcolm? Malcolm. Hold on, you don't know when. <laughs> you don't know when. How long? Malcolm was 44. He said 44, Malcolm. You were 40.
I'm going to get him one more to pick somebody on somebody he won't probably want to pick out. Huh? So, I don't know how old I was. Uh, when I first came, you were 36. What year? 06. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would be right. Yeah, he will right. Yeah, about right. Uh, yeah, he think he might be out. Oh, okay, oh, hold right, on. One more, Cam. Oh, Cam said. He think I'm for now? He said you came in 06. Yeah. He turned 38. 37, yeah. He was 37. He turned 38. You're right. Wasn't he turned 38 that year. Oh, 40. I came 2010. He was 37. He turned 38 that year. That's right. You're right. Hold on. Who had, come on. Come and get in the chat. Who asked you something? Come here. All that hollering. Yo, your mail? Where we asked you about your mail? You were 39 when I met you. You were 39. Well, you turned 39. What year was that, Kim? 2008. That when you can't care? Yeah. I'll be charging you extra money. 2008. Man, pretty long time, man. You about ready for a Social Security check or something? <laughs> Good enough. How old was Rod when he came? You were 21, <laughs> Rod. Shakira ain't here. She went here yesterday. Yeah, she went here yesterday. Uh oh, breathe the piss. He like she was just here yesterday. Yosha, what you gave her? Somebody got my child. It was not me. I'm here. Yes, we watching you here. She was hard yesterday, and now she ain't hard. So we gotta look at you. Uh huh. Throw her. Uh uh. What Yosha do? Let me see who else he might know. I right, how old was Michelle Booker when she came? Michelle, you can hear the question. You can hear it. Shake it, you can hear me. Uh oh, she said she can hear it. Uh oh, he thinking. How now how old was Michelle? I want to say she was twenty five. He said he wanna say you were twenty five. Twenty five. Oh, Goodness. Oh. That just made me sick. <laughs> I, I got one. I know he can't get right. How old Jahid? Jahid? When he joined? He yes. Yeah. No, he need to be a member now. Wrong. I knew he was going to get it wrong. Bro, Jahid ain't never been a member. Jahid, when you 26? 25. That's still close, though. Damn it. Yeah, tw you turn 26 that young? We don't care. <laughs> For the record, we don't care. <laughs> and we don't even care. <laughs> and we don't care. <laughs> no. no. That's all right. That's all right. We're going to get ready to go. All right, now, remember, periodically, we're going to be jumping back in here. We're going to be looking. Jessica, what you listening to with them headphones on? Oh, oh that, that her, that's her work headphones. She's trying to order uh, Bobby some more space material to build that shelter. <laughs> Jessica, can you hear us? She look guilty, too. She don't know what we're doing. She better say something. What's up? Michelle Matt Wood, what's that M up there for? We can't see no face. We got to keep up with you. Uh-oh. Let's go. In the dark. What's your, tell Ryan to put on some clothes now if you kick that on. Tell her, don't cry. I see, oh, she got the baby. Don't cry. We finna, we finna move on. <laughs> all right, y'all all right. We're gonna get ready. All right, we appreciate it. So we're gonna be dropping in. We're gonna be checking y'all out periodically. So we see how everybody doing. Isn't that right? The goal is to make sure we all get this right, people. All right? So let's get ready to look at him. All right, we're gonna, I know we're using Beth Hamashi out. Let's see. Let's go ahead and roll. This is uh, Roman 15 and 4 for those watching in. All right, listen. Whatever Nikata before. So whatever was written before. Nikata Talamidas. Written to teach us, show us, instruct us. 
so that through endurance, so in going through without quitting, and through the nakum of the kitubim, and the comfort of the writing, we might have tikva. We might have tikva. We were talking about before, it might be a cord, an attachment, something that we can hold on to. Uh, on Layla, um, we talked about him choosing um, the Abba, the fathers, are both for the fathers, plural. Um, and then bestowing his ahab upon him, but looking to actually gather in the seed which we look to, to be or to become. So uh, our goal is to learn how to transform. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We, we talked about this a little bit. Let's just see how this go. How about that? Your uh, Ukanon, um, see if there's one. Uh, this Aleph, your Ukanon, first John, they'll call it. Uh, Aleph for the first, from the Aleph bed. Your Ukanon, which is the actually given name, which is Yahuwah is gracious. And we want to always try to learn how to identify the books, not just by names, but by meanings. So when we go to to recording, which is the uh, Sefer, for scroll of books. So I don't want to fight, you know, words that really don't have an argument, really worth arguing about books or scrolls, I wouldn't argue, based off of the meaning of it. When something means something, you know, kind of contradictory, then I would say, eh, let's just stay here. It makes sense. Three and one. Let's see something. And we talked about this, I think, um, for that uh, Kamashi Layla that they'll call Wednesday night, which will actually be Thursday because the night comes in before the day. Uh, listen, this is one and two. It's probably three and one. So I don't know. <clears throat> All right, let's see. What was three and one? All right, listen. See what greatness of Ahab, the, the Abba, who has given to us. So what happened? To be Kara, the Bani of Elohim. So now that would be based off of what conversation? Why would they call it greatness? I mean, based off of what you guys have been taught now, I want you to kind of think about what you're reading. I want you to consider it and compare it against what you know. Because now they're saying, see what greatness of Ahab, the Abba, the father, who has given us given to us to be called the benim of Elohim. What would be your, what's your thinking? Akeem? Is there any thought? <clears throat> He's saying balance or scale? Well, on this one you would look at, you had a scale, this would be the heaviest. Because he's calling the greater. The greater would be the one with the most weight. Like they want to know about the uh, Mar, which were the greatest. You know what I'm saying? They want to know about who is the greatest in the Malkuth Elohim. So based off of a scale with this, they'll tell you this tips the scales. This is not evenly balanced because he's calling it greater. This is a greater. Remember, you were told you couldn't have greater or small. But this comes up right here. It doesn't violate your Torah, but they'll tell you that this has more credence to it. And to help you guys out, you were just told about, he talked about in the 10th chapter of the book of um, al Hadabarin. he was talking about what a hub he had for the Abo, yeah. that he chose their seat. Well, the seat is talking now. The seed is talking about the Ahab is greater for us <clears throat> that we should be called. They were called Abo. They weren't called the seed. They were called Abo, the fathers. So what was he trying to get? The seed. So we're looking at this is a greatness. This is a greater Ahab he had for us than he had for the Abba. Remember he said because Allahim Ahab your Abba? Mm -hmm. He told you that's why he chose their seed after them. So we know that there was a love and a fit, an affection uh, an affection that was there, but we're looking at the affection that he has for the seed was greater than he did for the stalk. Y'all got it from where he took it from. Correct? We talked about last, we talked about Layla, or how even with Dao, we talk, that we learned that Dao was a man out of his own law. Is that who he said to really rule over Yashra? For alarm and alarm? No, he said, I chose your seed after you to sit on the throne continually. So the hob he had for Dao was not greater than the hob he had for his seed. <clears throat> Y'all understand that? So now the C is coming into what we're going to call this uh, benah, understanding that there is, y'all, listen, you didn't even consider that, that a greater love is on you. He only chose the Abba so he can get the seed. And y'all know, they ask me all the time, why you always keep, you always like you keep talking to the kids? It's amazing what we come back around to, huh? It's, a, it's like preachers just talking to the kids. Go figure. So I've been telling this a long time, Hannah. I said, it's all right. I said, listen, at least I can get these kids to do it. It could possibly you don't say you don't play it long enough. He look at, I done rejected the stalk. I'm going to take the seed. 
And that's to tell you how important it is. So, yeah, think about Think about this. With the stalk, what can you really do with it? <clears throat> Nothing. What can you do with the seed? You can reproduce, you can grind it, and you can change it. It can transform and be used into something. There's nothing I can do with the stalk. So I only chose the stalk so I can get the seed. I can do more with the seed than I can with the stalk. After I strip the seed from the stalk, what can I do with the stalk? <clears throat> Y'all do who in here do farming, do, do cultivate in, in, in the farm. So what can I do with the stalk after I take the seed? I can cook and do what? It's good for who? Animals. And what are they going to do to the animals? So, gonna, I, what it, so what do they do? Give it to the animals so they can do what? It's hay. That's it. But I can't take it and cook it and just keep transforming and making it to something else. But the seed, I can, tran I can transform the seed. I can make it, I can, and grain, I can turn it down to grain or make it down to powder. Or I can bake bread. There's other things I can do with it. See why it's important why he want a seed? See, I'm trying to get you guys to understand. How we have valued ourselves have been from our own way, we, the way we see things versus look at nature. After you take the seed from him, what else he looking at? What else can I do with it? So the heart that he had on the Abba was for <coughs> the seed. Hello? Yes, sir. Look at Yahushua. He told us unto us what was going to happen. A child was going to be unto us. I'm sorry, a seed. A seed. You don't believe? You know why? Because he could generate more with the seed. More could be generated with the seed. So it made sense why he used the seed. I wasn't going to use the stalk. I'm going to use the seed. Because I could do more with the seed than I can with the stalk. Y'all got it? So let me tell you something now. Based off of the conversation, I want you guys to consider something, okay? Now, this basically counts a lot of us out. <clears throat> based off of what are they going to do with you? What can he do with you? Hello? I, I, I want to have a real, real conversation so it'll put your mind in perspective of looking at, first of all, what you need to know, first of all, if we could. First of all, you, me, all of us need to know one thing off the first. I have rejected you. I rejected you. See, when Daoud even when his brothers and came in, his Akeem, when Shammah went down, he told him, I rejected him. Before he could even go, he said, surely. He said, do not look at him. I have rejected him. You know who he chose? A seed that came in. Dahu was out in the field. He had him to fetch him from the field and bring him into his barn. He said, I can use him. That's what, where was Dahu? Most seed, out in the field. He all keep his sheep. He said, listen, we can't even eat till the seed get him. I could do more with the seed than I can with these stalks in here you got. Are y'all with me today? Yes, see, I, see, the first thing we need to do, an, another thing we missed, key components, salvation. One, uh, fear. We talked about this, correct? We're we going to talk today. I want to talk. I want to make sure we got it. I don't want to. I don't want to assume something. I don't want to just take off believing something. I want to make sure we're on the same page, so you can get the whole uh, understanding about the situation. So the fear is what you need first. We talked about that, right? Because he said the fear is the beginning. Let's make sure that. See that Marshall Lee one in thirteen, one in four. Marshall Lee. They'll call it Proverbs. One in four. Remember, they want to know what manner, right? Huh. Based off our word, what we know about manner. <clears throat> exactly what? I can't explain it. Can you imagine that? If it's called what, how do you explain what? They had a cannonball years ago. I remember they came out with, it was called a what whatchamacallit. I was living when that came out. And you know why they put it? Because they know what they call it. It had nuts, it had some peanut butter in it, and it had a wafer type. They said, what, they said well, what should we call it? They said that's the best we could tell them. It don't have a name. They said, what should we call it? You know what I'm saying? People, I can tell you about it, though. I know it had the nuts in it, it had the chocolate, and it had some other thing that was in it, but if you had a name, I just had to call it what should we call it. 
So the fact that they called a mount of what? I mean, because it's undescribable. But see, that came in the same way they understood with Yahuwah. They knew they knew it, it was round, like a corundus seed, and they knew that it had a honey taste to it. It had like a comb in it. They said, but I don't know what to call it. But I do know when it went in my mouth, it was sweet. I know that I know it was feeling, it was satisfying, but I don't know what to call it. You ain't gonna believe it. Yahushua had been in the whole time. We just didn't know what to call it. What? <clears throat> Marsha Lee, they call it proverb. We'll do one and one. Marsha Lee. <clears throat> the goal is not for you to be behind and get lost. The goal for everybody. And I like to do that. When I tell you, I said, let's go through and we'll read. I tell you, I read through it, y'all. We read through it together, fresh blank, and then I tell you what I pick up when we read it. And I tell you how I think. That way we grow together. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to get ahead so I know this is called stupid. This, if you put seed in the ground and once I'm just going to get a hit of them and going to pop up out the ground, comfort, y'all not growing together. You're typically watching they start to break. You start to see them come up like this. And that's how he wants to go until we all come into the unity. Of. Don't don't this not this is what people make. This is not a race. You can run real fast and you can run right past where you need to go. That's why we got to take our time. We'll go through. We'll hear a word. I might say, hey, pull this word up. Let's look at it. Nothing. Nothing on my sleeve, no trait. We'll learn, we'll grow together, we'll read it. And watch, when we read, we'll pick up something. We'll pick up something that you'll run right past. Pick it up like this, and I'll tell you, this is, what, this is how we'll look at it. Because you need to understand, listen, this is a system. He's installed a system in order for a man to Get out of your mind. I guess in my mind, years ago, just, you know, <clears throat> you know, he so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, whosoever believing him should not perish, have everlasting life. God sent out his son to the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. This is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. Men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Whew, beautiful. Okay, what did you just say? Okay, God so loved the world he gave us. Almost. Stop. Explain me what you just said. That's all we've been doing is reciting. Teach little kids, little babies how to recite. No more reciting. Now it's time to get understanding. Understand that everything he did is detailed. And it's for a fact. It's detailed for a reason. I'm telling you, it's for a reason. Okay? So <clears throat> this is what we have to look at. Um, I guess, well, when we, when we read, just thinking, when we read um, Abarine, it's called Hebrews 2. And one, <clears throat> not from the Aubrey right, writing, but you look at from James, but kind of understand the concept where it talked about, therefore, how we ought to get a more earnest, he earnest would go to the most serious state of mind to the things which we have heard, which will make sense for Shama to mean intelligently. Lest at any time, that's right, any time we should let them slip. For if the, the boss spoken by Malachim was steadfast and in every transgression, every transgression, and we don't, what are we going to use for that, for the word spoken by Mother Key? For steadfast. Got a hand. Tell me what we got. What you thinking? Allah Dabarin. What did it say? I don't think that's saying Allah. That's saying Ua Shamu. Yeah, he told him about that. He told him, Behold, I sent a Malachi before you to keep you in the way. He told you to beware of him and obey his call. He said, Because he won't pardon your transgression. See, a lot of people don't know that. He told you that. He said, I sent him. He said, to keep you in the way. He was there. He told you, beware of him and obey his call, his sound. He said, because my shim is in it, and he will not pardon your transgression. Anything you do, he didn't have orders to pardon it. If you did something, it didn't matter how you looked and you cried, my orders is to kill you. See, that's why Yahushua became so valuable to us, because we finally had got a Malachi, a message that came. He said, I can forgive you for that. Think about it. But that's why, it, to which of the Malachi said at any time, this day have I begotten you, you my being. He said, I never said that to any one of them. I never said that. I said it to Yahushua. He said, any time, he said, I never said it to anybody else but him. I let him know I begotten him. Hello? Yes, sir. Adam would have known it. He begotten him too. So when it came down to Yahushua, it, you know, it was the fact of what he's given him. He gave him the ability. He let you know. He said, listen, a man was sitting there and they wanted him to, um, a man was sick. And Yahushua told the man that, he said, your katah be forgiven. 
and the man was healed. And everybody looked and the man, they stopped it because they want to know, hold on, what, what did you just say? He said, what? They said, you just told that man that his sin was forgiven? He said, well, which is easier? He want to know which one was easier. Let him know. He said, but that you would know that I also have the authority to forgive Qatar. So there was no reason for me to look at him like I would view another messenger. He said, I had a see, even the model key sent his name was in it. He said, but I didn't give him that authority. So when Yahushua came on, you understand why he was so valuable to us now? But you could, that was because he was a seed. And he had that type of versatility. Y'all got it? Because you can turn the grain anything. You can bake whatever you want to bake with. It's, it's multiple ways it can be used. Am I correct? With a grain of seed of wheat. It can be made of bread. You can put it into something else and, and form it and transform it. So that's why he was able to use it. See, you, you don't pay attention to why everything is that intricate in detail. I didn't just take a seed because I want to take a seed. I was trying to show you what you should already know if you work in this field. That you could do more with a seed than you can with the stalk. Abraham was limited. He was a stalk. But I could take his seed. That's why he told it to Abraham. That's where the promises were made. I didn't need all of them. I just needed one. One seed. So they started to understand the value of, and that's something we lose, we don't get, because in your mind, you just you just reading along and just going along. This is not a fairy tale. This is a this is a true story. All the facts, all the people in here, listen, these are the actual people. These are the actual people. This ain't one of them scripts where they change the names of people to protect the innocent. No, everybody here, this is them. This is their life, and they were put together and constructed for you. The fall of these people and the building up of the, all these people we read about, this is for you. All right, listen, this is Marshall Lee, one and one. Listen. <clears throat> the Marshall Lee of Shaluma, the being of Daoud, Malak of Yasharal. Okay. To know Kakma and instruction. Y'all hear what he said? He said to know wisdom and instruction. That would be Torah. That's what the Torah is, direction, instruction, and law. That's what the Torah is. Like people say, that's the law, the law. Don't just look at the law. You got, this is instructions. This is directions. That's how you got to look at it. When you look at that law, you think of something that just, just some say, no, this is a way of life. The Torah is a way of life. That's why he condemned them, and that's why he vindicated them by it. It was the Torah. It's got to be more than just law. It was a way of life. A man was condemned because he didn't know the way of life. Are y'all with me? Why do you think he condemned you? Listen, the worst that you commit a death. You don't know the way of life. So now you got to be instructed on how to live. Hello? Listen, when he told him, he gave him the tour. You know why he told him to do it? So that you might live. So what was I doing the reason I needed to do that to live? My works were death. All your works are death. So the only way for you to understand it was to attach Kai to it. That this was life. That this was longevity. That's how you, this is why you failed. Think about it. Why you think you really keep committing Katar? Because you don't see it as life. This is where he's talking about going about to establish their own, your own right. And have not, then come under subjection to. Sadiqa Allahim, that's what Ka'ur did. She went and established her own right. And it wound up being moved. So now, I want you to understand this in the simplest terms so you'll stop making mistakes. Let me say this, critical mistakes that you're aware of. So whatever the Torah says is life, okay? So when you don't do it, this is death. That's why I ask you, why should you die before time? If you be what was again? Overly Russia? So your life is dissipating. The more intense you become with Qatar, the quicker you get to move. You need to know that so you know how to participate. This is life. I'm, this is what he came to do. He came to teach man how to live. Man don't know how to live. That's why he gave you a diet. Okay. Go find people with cancer. Go find people with a lot of these diseases that they're taking. Go ask them about their diet. So what was the purpose of giving you a diet? Because he hated shrimp. You really that stupid and he made shrimp. 
because the law was built to teach a man how to live. Mm. That's why you can't get rid of the law because it does have a life attached to it. Now he's moving on to giving you alarm, alarm forever and ever. So that was life to it. Otherwise, why would you kill people when they broke it? So we said there was no life to the law. So how did you get the life? By the directions, by the instructions. Y'all got it. So I want to teach you where you fell in that. See, when you don't actually have a technique to what you're doing, it's like running, and it's a technique. Yes. It's something, I just fast, they don't realize where you run. My wide open, they just huffing and puffing. I said, I can't run long, sir, and I know why. Because it's a technique to the breathing. It's a technique to the run. Everything is positioning your body. Everything they do is all technique. It's all technique. So you just thinking, Mr. Hood, just throw this stuff together. There's no technique to this. You're trying to live, right? Well, I'm going to teach you how to live. That what he was, basically, that's what he's doing. I'm going to teach you how to live longer. I'm going to teach you. What do y'all think these people are sell all these diets? All their weight loss stuff. What do you think the purpose of that for? So people can live longer and live better. That's what he's doing. I'm trimming the fat. I'm tri that's what you're doing now. You're trimming the fat. Because now you're coming in to look at what does he require. Let's see what happened. Come on. To know kakma and instruction to, to know, discern the same. So to know wisdom. So that way, so you'll know a skill. It's a skill to this. Remember, kakma, don't just think about wisdom. Think about when we talk about being white. It's a skill. Can we find what a skill is? Definition. Let me get a quick break. Give me a quick look. If I go over there. That's going to be a check. I'm sure it's going to be a check. The ability to do something. And he told you to do this, that you may live what? Live long and that things might. <laughs> get what? The ability. So get what? So in order for things for you to live long and things to go well with you, you're going to have to have a cock mind because that's a skill. That's a skill. See, the ability to do something. That's what caught my, not, not just do it, but to do it well. You know, when Musha went up and he gave him the Amar when he went up on the heart, you know what he told him to do? See that he do all things, that's the only way to be well. That's the only way going to be well. The only way to do it well and do it right was to do it the way he showed it to him. He gave him the ability. That's why I told him, do it just like I do it. I'm going to show you how to do it exactly like me. You can do it the exact same way I do it and you'll do it well. You'll be effective. What happened we get it? And I got my own stuff I want to put on it. That's a problem. That's a problem. You can't put your own stuff on it. You want to do it exactly the way he showed it to you. Remember, this is a way of life. Y'all got it? So it's a way of death, there's a way of life. Well, yeah, okay, I see y'all out there. I see uh, somebody, Jeff, missing. I see some swinging on the uh, ceiling. Ain't no boogie, is it? All right, just making sure. I see him. I had to make sure. Uh-huh, we're going to be checking. Yeah, we just be checking in. This this for everybody betterment, though. Well, that Ryan, where you at, Ryan? Man, we we'll got the flow. Put some drop. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry. You good. I know. I see. We ain't right. Black Knight, I couldn't see you. I ain't know what that was for a minute. Put that light on you so we can see you. See your eyes. Uh-huh. We got you. All right. Let's go back over there. I see Jeff done move. He was over there in the corner. He said, let me move him on the Kayla. He can't see me. <clears throat> can these people move around on their own or just they, they throw them around? Like checkers. All right, let me go. Hey, Nicole. I said, looking at the corner eye. So, y'all see that? The ability to do something well. We got that? All right, come on. Y'all got to know wisdom and instructions to discern the sayings of Bana. Oh, can we see what discern is? I'm sure distinguish between two. It won't probably read like that, though. perceive or recognize something. Y'all see that? Hands on who we heard it from first. Uh-oh. Cannon might have beat you. What you got, Cannon? Yosef. How many of y'all don't remember that? Yosef asked his Akeem when they came back and they was accused of stealing his cup. He said, didn't you know there's such a one that I could discern? That I could recognize? So guess what he was trying to do? He's trying to give you the skill level to do the other to be able to perceive or recognize. Listen, y'all know why people miss Yahushua? They couldn't discern. Y'all got it. They couldn't discern. 
So now you got to look at now. Guess what we're gonna go to based off of that? What we're gonna have to go to? What 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 can what can uh, hinder you on discerning? Based on what y'all just heard me talk about, who? Who? I heard what you said, but that's not what I want, huh? The what you say? Oh, stop it. What you say? <laughs> oh, no, it's the wrong answer. Come on, get two chairs for that one. Go ahead, what's that? So he just said that. Come on, get that check, big man. Come on, big man. I just, he showed that he heard you. That man picked up. He said, maybe he ain't here, Canada. What that time he said? I was on that cocaine bad. What the heck they try to make you put on? I said, them folks try to take me down. You remember that day? Man, we was in again interviewed. They interviewed me on that new clip I sent to y'all. Them folks tell that lady she looked, she just kept looking at her. She said, I want to interview Dexter. I said, Dexter? I like, what do you want to interview Dexter? She said. So she started out, so hey, why I walked out, so I walked, she started, she said, she said, not not you, Pastor. She said, you stay in the house. I said, what they finna do with Dexter? Why they had dad that had got that hat. He had a skull cat, he got it and rubbed in some leaves and, and put on that and put it down like that. And they had some baby powder. She just rubbed it out. I said, oh no. I was picking out that one. I said, they finna take me down. I said, they th- I said get that stuff on your nose. I said, these folks trying to take me down. They gonna tell me to stay in the house. They just want Dexter. I said, oh no, no, no. I know what's going on right here. I know I'm finna get set up now. <laughs> All right, y'all got that perceive or recognize. Based off of this, now we're going right back to diet. Y'all want to see how diet works? Sure. Uh, let's see. Well, we're, we're changing the eating. Let's see, let's look at something. Let, let, let me show you how. Okay, I'll show you how that works. Let's do this. Discern. Recognize. What do we say? Recognize. What else? Let's look at something. Ninth chapter, first verse of the book of Barashit. We just, we just kind of all out here with the play. Let's see where they go. They call it Genesis. Bar she. Okay, nine and one, I told y'all. All right, listen. And Allahim, Barak, Nuak. And his beni and said to them, New Ark, they had named me Rested. What did we say mean? Rested? Rested. New Ark, they call Noah. Listen. Be pari and multiply and fill the orats. Mm-hmm. See what he just told him to do? That's what he told him to do. Look at that. Be be what? Pari and multiply. So who you who would he be talking to right now? Say it loud. He got a check. Come on, you got one too. Cause you're just right. You you're gonna tell the seed to be multiplied? You're gonna be talking to the stalk. He told him what he wanted to do. He wanted the stalk to go ahead and want you to produce seeds. It's like he told you when he made the ox. He told you the seed so I can talk to the ox. That's what he's doing. He's talking to the ox. He's talking to the tree. He's telling the tree to be fruitful. You can't tell the seed to do it. You're going to tell the stalk. So he want the stalk to produce it. So you can take the seed and then you can produce more with it. So now he just told Nuot he wanted to do something. He wanted him to be fruitful and multiply. And was Nuot the son or was he the father? Father. Hmm, go figure. They go to stalk. Let's see how this go. Listen. The yara of you and the terror of wow, you. Wow, the fear of you. And the and terror the, of and you. And the dread of you. Shall be on every beast of the Arats. You ain't going to believe it. What did he just make him? Alahim. Alahim. You should have caught that. Why, think of what, why, let me tell you. Why would they need fear? It's a hobble. Let's see why. Let's, how about we see why? Let, let's not speculate. Let's just see what he said. Let's see how they go. Listen. And on every bird of the Shamayim. Every bird of Shamayim. With everything that creeps on the Adumah. Somebody heard this same situation, but we never heard what had to be put there. So we, we would naturally have to know that it had to be on them with Adam. Listen what had to be him. It had to be on everything. Concerning him. Listen. And on all the fish of the yam. I guess when he go out there and go swimming. Listen, everything had to fear him. It wouldn't make sense to say, let him be like me and nothing fears him. Mm-hmm. Cause that's where they wisdom start at. How would you be like me when everything's supposed to fear me and nothing fears you? <clears throat> then that would be a separation. I mean, come on. You do know that this had to be told, the same thing had to be told to them when Adam was here. You're just hearing that in detail that he went through to let this be known. This ain't the first time he said this. 
You think Adnan went there, everything came to him, hit an and then it attack him? Hmm. It had to come there and submit, knowing that this man has authority over me. That this man can kill me. And I need to accept whatever this man tells me. Now you just hear them tell it to Newark. Listen. Into your Hold hand. Hold on, stop for a second. So let's say, 126 right quick. Same book by Rashid. Yes, sir. You, you judge for yourself. How about that? He adding. Let's just see. That's not what I wanted now. Listen. Then Elohim said, Do let what? us make each Adam in our image. In our image. According to our likeness. Resembling looking just like us. And let them soar over the young fish let, of the yam. And let him rule over the fish. And over the birds of the Shamayim. Over the birds in the Shamayim. And over the cattle. And over the cattle. And over all the Arats. And over all the Arats. And over every creeping thing that creeps on the Arats. So let's just say I made that up. None of them had fear. Look what he's going to rule over. And none of them feared him. Did that make common sense? No, sir. Based off the ninth chapter. Let's see the ninth chapter again. It's not hard to put together. Listen. The, y the Yara of you. No, bad milk. This is 91. Yes, sir. Listen. And Allahim Barak Nuak. He barak him. And his Bani mm -hmm. and said to them, Do what? Be pari and multiply. Wow. And That's fill amazing. the rots. You ain't gonna believe it. This same thing he told New he told the thing, same thing to uh Adam them. Yes, sir. To be fruitful and multiply, did he not? Yes, sir. That's amazing. Told them to be fruitful and multiply. Make seed. Yes, sir. That's what he told him. Make seed. Come on. The yara of you and the terror of you. The fear of you and, and the dread of you. Shall be on every beast of, of the Arats. Like what? Which and kind? on every bird of the Shamayim. Every bird in the, in the heights. With everything that creeps on the Adumah. Everything that creep? And, crawl? And on all the fish of the Yom. Into your hand they are given. Adam said I already know about that. But he fell from his estate. Y'all got it? So he looked at this. I just got to recover seed. That's how he looked at it. When he fell, I just got to recover seed. <clears throat> That's all. I just got to recover seed. Hello? Yes, sir. Listen, if you had a crop field out there and you about to lose it, if you can get some seeds, you got a chance of putting it back. That's all he want to do is gather him a seed. Y'all yeah. hear it? That's amazing. Think in the ninth chapter of the book of uh, <laughs> Romans, you know what I'm saying? Except the, uh, the uh, uh, Yahuwah Sabot. So, except he had left That's us a stop. What, what, why did he leave us a stop? See. He had to leave us a seed. What we had been like. Made like took him, we made like some and made like a moron. See that? You get what it saved us? A seed. Hello? Yes, All they had to do was take a couple of stalks outside of that, and guess what? Loot, who they call Lot, and his daughter, he look at him, and they generated more people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. He, did. he took the whole city down. All they did was he said, All I need is a seed. I didn't need every stalk and I just took enough stalks to make me a seed. And I just generated. Hello? Yes, and just show you how the seed worked. Everybody he worked through with Abraham, he let Abraham have all them seed. Said, then he told you, I don't even want every seed. I just want this one. From this one seed, I'll create the rest of them. Yeah. Just look, everybody said, because cause everybody thinks they're going to get in, they'll seed. He said, I don't want all the seeds. I rejected them. I took the one. He separated the other ones. Because all these people run around talking about their Abrahamic religion. This man not paying this stuff no attention. No such thing, no, Abra no Abrahamic religion. I don't know what people come up It's the Amunah Abraham. The religion was established before Abraham got the purple were already here. Yes, there, nobody went around. Whoever said they would, they, they always say, well, Abraham's seed. Nobody went around talking about Amunah Abraham religion. That makes no sense. Abra so what was Newark a man? Abraham religion? He just gave this man everything. He didn't even tell Abraham that he don't put everything under him. What religion was this man following? What religion was Kanuk following? The Abrahamic religion when he was translated? People, please don't be listening to people say dumb stuff. I don't know what people say. They folk listen. These people, a lot of stuff people just say it makes no sense whatsoever. Abraham didn't have no religion. This was already established. This is the same thing you got to follow. That's right. I don't know what these people are talking about. That's right. We're talking about a promise he gave this man. Y'all got it. I'm trying to build a promise. I ain't trying to build no religion. Hello? All right. I'm just trying to help you all out. Let's see where we go with it. Listen. Into your hand they are given. Mm-hmm. 
every moving thing that is Kai shall be for food for you. You hear everything that do what? Every moving thing that is Kai shall be for food for you. See that? It's going to be for food for you. Come on. I give you, I give all to you, even as the green plant. Uh-oh, I give all to you, even as the green plant. Now, I'm trying to get on your religion with this macaroni cheese with no, with no macaroni and no cheese. And these folk got all that non-meat eating stuff they teach it. Now, what are we going to do with this man right here? You know, eating meat is a sin. <clears throat> yeah, God don't like you eating meat. What people get this stuff? What do ass mean it's with the one S? That's what it means, the same degree. I don't know how people say it. Let, let me say this. Please let me be clear. If a person chooses not to eat meat of their own, that is your choice. You cannot teach that as a condemnable religion. I don't want, no, please don't get to it. I'm not saying, no. I know they're going to do that. Preacher, anybody don't eat meat, going to hell. Preacher did not say that. I'm just telling you, you can't teach it from a religion simply because he's just coming established. If he just told him that everything that creeps is going to be equivalent to, to the green herb, what were they <coughs> eating before that? They were eating green herb. That's already he told us. So in order to get him to look at the value, it was equivalent to eating. Am I correct? It would be almost equivalent. You eating meat would be on the same level as eating plants. Mm -hmm. This had been established. Yeah. Okay? He's tell listen, the gray order was green herbs. Mm -hmm. Why would he say even as? Because right. there was no way just telling me from the statement, I'm not eating it. When you never ate it before, why would I eat it now? Unless I told him it's to the same degree. And this is going to be food for you. Y'all got me? We're reading this together, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's just make sure on the same page. Let's see. Y'all got that? Listen. Only you shall not eat basar with its kai. See that? He said, only you're not supposed to eat the meat with the dom. Listen. That is its dom. Why? Come on. Surely I shall require the dom of your kai. At, it, at the hand of every beast, I shall require it. Yes. Yeah. And at the hand of an ish, at the hand of an ish ak. I shall require the kai of each. That's what he just told y'all. He said, I'm required of them. I'm required your dom. He said, that's life. I'm required your life. If somebody take your life, I'm required it's going to have to come back out of somebody else. That's how it works. If you took a life, then your life had to be taken. He said, that's how it works. I had to get people to understand the value of it. Now, Lee my man, if that jump, I don't care about killing no nigga. I'll kill a nigga in a minute. Anybody, don't make me no different. Then Lee find out, hey, when you do that now, you get killed too. He said, hold on, let me hold on. I was just looking to kill somebody. I wasn't trying to get killed. Though. You know? Oh, a lot of folks that kill her, they don't want to be killed. So guess what he realized? Let's see how killer you want to be. Because he said, the way I require, I needed you to understand the value. Otherwise, people just taking people lives. Just like Cain, who they call Cain. What would the, what did, from what we read, just what would the value he would have known of killing his brother? Exactly. We don't know that. He don't, I don't think he had, it would have had a value on it. Why would he? When, he went, let me ask something. From what we know from reading, let's just be practical. From what we have reading. You can go back to any documentation you want or reading. We don't have any law where he told Adam that he couldn't kill nothing. All right? We don't have nothing that told us in the first place they had any writers up until that point. All he had was not what he was supposed to do in the gun and how he ruled over him. He wasn't told nothing, nothing, nothing nobody can pull up and prove to show that he knew he wasn't supposed to kill his brother. But now when Newark come on the scene, he let him know. He said, we're not doing that. He said, to hand every man. He said, I'm requiring every life for a life. If it's a life taken, it's going to be a life that got to be taken from somebody else. If you take somebody like you got to lose. That's only to get man to get the value. Why y'all think these people keep killing these people going to jail? They got rid of death penalty. Oh, it's inhumane to let your chair. That that chair kept a lot of folk cool. Yeah. Man, I'm you, you know what bad about old Sparky? They'll hit it and the thing didn't work all the time. So you get some nice joke hit. Then they come out, that man put that thing in your chair. He look, he said, kick that thing again. Skang! That joke be front. Listen, y'all ever seen somebody in your chair? Oh my goodness. That blood start coming. Listen, that blood start coming out here. Listen, they just, skang! That's why they, they put a scar around because my eyes are cooked out. That joke just be coming out. Oh, it looked terrible too. Listen, they come back and check them. He got that one. <clears throat> Walk out, they like kick it again. Scoom. That's why they gave him a shot. People said, that's inhumane. How does that inhumane? You don't, you don't kill the whole family. Right. What, what respect we need to show you? Right. If you're, I, you walk in and murder a whole family of people, and somebody's gonna tell me how many times we gonna you kill five people. You need five clicks. 
Minimum. I'm just saying, it make a person consider when they realize, listen, I would, listen, there are people now who have died innocently. I'm innocent. No, I'm not talking about that. We need to make sure we know when we know 100%. Man, I ain't got no problem with it. I kick it on. I kick that thing, come, I kick it on, come straight to serve. That stuff don't bother me. I kick it on dry, straight on him for Shabbat serving. And y'all know what I'm going to tell y'all? I'm in a good place. <laughs> Man, I ain't got time, man. Man, you know what? You just you can't just walk around there be killing people and raping folk. Man, no, no. You gotta listen. You gotta make the penalty severe. That's why the penalty was severe in the book. Because he was trying to get you not to do it. He caught a man. He raped a woman. No, he said, man, listen. And she cried out. That man said, "It's no guilt in her. <clears throat> Kill him, though." He said, man. He said, you gotta put that stuff away from among you. You can't keep that guy money talking about, well, he ain't been in jail for two weeks. Man, look here, man. Put that man away from you. That, that would totally destroy it. That's how we learn how to kill our behaviors. Yeah. Let me say, if you then be therefore risen with the Mashiach, seat no thing with y'all above where the Mashiach sit on the right hand, or which is your main your right hand of Allahim, set your affection on things above, not on things on the right for you. What was it? Moot, dead, and your life supposed to be here in the Mashiach. So when the Mashiach, who is our Kai, shall appear, then shall we also appear with him in Kaboo. He wants you to do something. Mortify. Mortify. What was that? Yeah. Your members. Kill them out. The only reason they learned that was because they learned what to do with people that produce certain behavior. You're supposed to kill them. He said, put it to death. So people understood. If we put, if we had a field, just say, women around here getting raped. We find this one person. I don't want you to know about somebody you don't rape, but somebody just say that one person is the person doing the raping. If we take that person and if we put that person to death, should there be rape in, around us anymore, among us? Guess what he taught you? So with the behaviors you have, you got to put them to death. See, now people be safe because we put the person, we put them to death. If we put them in jail and they got possibility of parole, then we still have a fear of what? Guess what? So guess what he said? So we got to subdue it to death so we don't have to worry about that appearance. So every time when a behavior comes, he said, Katrina, put it to death, put it there. So now when you read Colossians, the third chapter, he told you about mortify your members. How do you understand it? If you put it to death, you don't have to fear it anymore. That makes sense. OK, so I, listen, it is really simplistic. Y'all get it. Let's see. Let's finish with six and I'm going to try to move back. <clears throat> Come on. Whoever sheds a dom's dom by a dom, his dom shall be shed. So you said that? What? Say, you said, now, whoever sheds man's blood, you said what animal is supposed to do it? By a dom, his dom shall be shed. Y'all see that? That's how the tour worked. That's how he looked at it being I five, two for two. You took a man's life, he said a man should kill you. That's how he looked at it. it so it, it, it started, then, then guess how I see it? I see it as my works coming back for me. Since if I kill a man, a man has to kill me. So guess what I get to see? You get to see your works come manifest back on you. Those people got to see their katar. They got to see their katar put them to sleep, put them to moot. Y'all understand that? So those people had a, a better place setting of value about certain things. Listen, if you kill a man, you ain't got to worry about no animal killing you or nothing else. We're going to hunt you down and we're going to kill you. And it's going to be a man. Hello? That's how it made sense. One and um, one four, cause on one and five. Make it one and four. Kazoom. It means vision. Ka. Let me get a look right quick. You know what I'm talking about, Dwight? Before they wake up. Man, y'all done had a good nap now. What that? <coughs> look at Martina. Martina, you working. They're like a truck. Like you going down the road on him. He looking at traffic. You heard Candace say, look at him. He said, look at him. He said, look at Turn back. <laughs> oh, I'm over there. That man, man, that man, man look like he ride that truck. He ride, he wide over to the gun. That's uh uh uh. I see Joanna. You, she up now. She woke up. She heard her husband had to put that check up. That didn't. 
All right, who we got? All right, let's go back. Appreciate y'all. Good to see y'all up now. Jessica, you still on that on that call? Yes. Tell me it's your bot. You got to get out there early. <laughs> She's saying groovy. <laughs> All right, let's see what One and five, listen. And from Yahushua, Hamashiach, the Amunai witness, the firstborn of the Mut, and the Sar of the, of the Malachim of the Arat, mm. who Ahab us and washed us from our Kataim in his dumb. Mm -hmm. And he has made us to be Malachim and Kohanim to Alahim, his Abba. To him be the Kabood and the Dominion alum and alum mm -hmm. behold he he comes with the cloud and every eye shall see him you hear what he's saying every eye shall see him and you know why that is do you know why that is Chris I'm curious do you know why anybody know by chance Ham. let me say I got one we out here you feel like you do it so you can do what no, that wouldn't be why. That was a good guess, though. But no, that wouldn't be why. Because uh, even Sha'ud and Tush, your law told you, you do have a right to see your accuser. Mm. Right. That's what Sha'ud kept trying to tell them. They were trying to put him to death. They had a lot of cases with him. He let them know, you do have a right to see your accuser. Hello? I'm, I'm trying to help you out. You got a right to see your accuser, don't you? Okay. Let's go. I know they look at He told you, don't think he's going to accuse you to the album. He said, there's another one. He said, even Musha, in whom you are not, who you trust. Because had you had believed Musha, who was he writing about? That still make me your accuser. I'm just going to let him bring the accusation up. So you got a right to see him. All right, come on. Listen. Even those who pierced him and all the, and all the matai of the Arat shall mourn over him, so it shall be among and see, that's why he got to come and he got to kill him because these people put him to moot. So you ain't going to believe it. That's why you got to come at, you were told in the book of Acts of the Shalakim, they call, they call Acts of the Apostles, you were told that why would they stand there gazing, looking up in the Shamaim? You ain't going to believe why. That same Yahushua is coming back because he's going to be a man. He's going to have to kill you. He just told you. See, where you messed up at, when you were reading Barashit that these people so lovely wants to want so willing to want to get rid of and 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 ostracize and get rid of, I was telling you the end at the beginning. That you guys killed a man. And because you killed a man, you need to know what was gonna happen. Hello? Yes, sir. Even your Cobra told you about his son. He told you about how they did and they anger what they did. He said they <laughs> killed a man. And then they self will they tore down a wall. Ain't that right? He found them boys to be his shame. He said, y'all got to have dishonored me with what you've done. I will divide you in Yasharal. Look at you. Now all of you little killers. You done grow up to be a killer. Hello? We're the reason why he had to be put to move. So that means we put a man to death. So according to what he just told you, by a man you got to be killed. To prove to you, the man clearly told him he sat down to eat with them and they wanted to believe. He said, you don't see a Ruach have flesh and bones. Now, the same Yahushua left him was not spirit. He was flesh and bones. And that's why you need to know how. See, you have no idea what you've done, do you? you they just think, oh, he's just going to come back and people are going to be well. No, you should have paid attention. I was telling you the end at the beginning. That when he's coming back, I'm going to kill you. That's the Torah. That's why it makes no sense for these people to tell you that he did away with no Torah. Right. He told you how did you have to be killed if you killed a man? Amen. And the spirit come back to kill you. He told you that the Abba doth what? What did he do? I'm going to let a man kill you. I'm going to put a man. Musha told him what to set over the people. Set a rule up. Who did he ask to do it though? Set a who? Why he didn't tell him to get over him? Because Alahim is not a man. 
Neither is he the son of man. He said, I didn't come from no Adam that I should repent. If I said something, won't I do it? If I'm going to do something, I'm going to make it good. That's what, that's what the man told you. The man, so you see why it don't make sense for you to keep playing the games you're playing. You really don't know enough. This is how detailed he is on making sure he kill you the correct way. Think about it. If the spirit came back and kill you on the human my part, what could you say about it? How could you defend that? Because you had no, but you didn't know that. He made sure he won't be condemned. That's why you trying to figure, why he got to come back as a man? Why he just can't come back as a spirit? Because I got to kill you when I come back. And you got to be killed by a man. Hello? Yes, sir. What did he say he was going to do? Back me right quick at night. Are we, we, we going through this together. Are we catching on? Yes, sir. Let's see what he said again. At the ninth chapter, again, the book of Barashit. They call it Genesis. Nine and, um, what we start? Let me see, nine and four, I think, is what I want to hear. Nine and four. Let me say that what I want. Let's see if it's six. If, it's, if it ain't six, you're getting a check. You too, for being a friend. You're going to start picking you some better friends. You hear me joking? You're going to be looking at him, he get you a check. You don't know? All right, listen. Only you shall not eat basar with its kai. Oh, bad the three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every moving thing that is kai shall be for food for you. Two, two, two. Let me see what it did. Listen. The yara of you and the terror of you shall be on every beast of the Arat. I hear that. The yara of you and the terror of you shall be on every beast of the Arat. And on every bird of the Shamayim. And on every bird of the Shamayim. With every creep, everything that creeps on the Aduma. Mm -hmm. And on all the fish of the Yom. Mm -hmm. Into your hand they are given. Mm -hmm. Come every on. moving thing that is Kai shall be for food for you. Mm -hmm. I give you, I give all to you, even as the green plant. Yes. Only you should not eat Basar with its Kai, that is its Dom. Mm hmm. Surely I shall require the dumb of your kai at the hand of every beast. I shall require it and at the hand of Adam at the hand of Adam's ox. I shall require the kai of Adam. Now hear what he just told you he's going to do. Let's see what he told you. Pick my bet the 27th chapter of the book of Matthew. 27 <coughs> by 23. Matthew. They call Matthew. That's the gift of Yahuwah. Matthew. What's that, 23? Listen. The governor said, and what Rosha has he done? That's what the governor want to know. What did the man do? Come on. But they still shouted and said, let what? him be crucified. Let him be crucified. That's what they said. Yes, sir. Listen. And it came to pass when Pelotus saw that it was nothing benefited and that the disturbance had only increased. He took Maim and washed his hands mm -hmm. in the un of the arm and said, what? I am innocent of the dom of this Sadiq Ish. Why he, why, why he wash his elbows and his feet and his head? Because the hands symbolize the work. When you hold, let you know about the yard, you feel like it, is, it actually symbolizes a man's work. And he making sure I don't have nothing to do with this work. See, all this is coordinated. Why he wash his feet? Like Yahushua, he took them and washed their feet. Because that was for humility. Why was he washing his hands? He worked with his hands. He was, because you work with your hands. So he want to make sure he was clear. See, all this you need to pay attention to. Why he ain't wash his face? Could have had mad in his eyes. Just got up that morning. I need to wash my hands and let these people know my hands are out of this. I'm clean. Listen. You saw it. He said, you see that? And you seen it. It wasn't just his speech. He washed his hands to show them. So he was loving, making sure you, you see that? He told them, you saw this. I, you know how people say, I, I give up on you. I, I my hands off you. And why they tend to do this? Some when people say, y'all don't know the people do stuff to show like similar, to show you symbolizing my hands out of it. That's right. Later they say, what I told you. Then I said my hands were out of it. That's what he doing. He let them know you see this. I'm clean. I'm pure from this. Come on. 
And all the arm answered and said, his dom is upon us. Hold on, his what? His dom is upon us. And what? And upon our benim. Are you serious? Why in the world would it be on them? Would it be because of what he told me in the ninth chapter? Yes, sir. That at the hands of every man, I'm going to require it? That's right. That's why they knew it was on them and on their seed. That this man said he put this upon them. He used the tour to show them that I'm going to visit the kataim of you and of your benin, which means at that point, I have rejected this seed. I rejected these seeds all the way up to the fourth. Hello? Yes, sir. That's amazing. Because you look at Yahushua coming in 40 something to Ladal. Everybody's showing these people coming. And how these things start to working for you? You see how things work. He's showing you his rejection of some. Sometimes you reject them till you get the seeds you want. Let me tell you something what you'll do sometimes. Sometimes people get a seed, or they might just say, mm, they might buy some baby chicks. And those baby chicks they got, they feel like they might have been fed something. So what they might tend to do, they might just breed down from them till they get to a certain number, reject all of them, don't eat them, and start eating from that point. You won't know nothing about that. Because they try to wash out what's in the line of it. That's right. Because they know how to, I'm, yeah, that's how you get them. Sometimes you get them, and the way the people might have fed them, what they got them. So what you'll do is take them, you'll mate them. Mm -hmm. But you won't eat any of those. That's right. You won't take the next one. You won't take them until you clean the seed. That's right. So you were told that a bastard couldn't eat in. Mm -hmm. Not to his tenth to Ladon. I will wash them out. Nine of them I don't want. I kept general until I got to the tenth. By then I cleaned the line out. Yeah. Listen, I get a bastard. I got to have ten marriages to clean that line up. That's what he did. If I was a, so let me get this straight then. So just let's see if my theory makes sense. Let's do that, day. I got um I got a bastard just born. Now, I can't accept son to the tenth to the dog. Now that bastard, which is a memza, means born illegitimate, right? So so people get offended with the word memza, same thing, illegitimate. So now, for Tula Dog, I get another bastard. <clears throat> Am I still good when I get to the 10? Mm -hmm. I'd start counting again. Yep. I'd start my count over. Because the gold, I'm trying to clean the lineage out. So he looked at, it's going to take me 10 of them to get it back straight. I got to get 10 straight marriages. Because I'm not accepting to the 10. So now guess what happened now? I got, let's go with the bastard, Mimzah. The, the, the Memzar gets married and have a child. Where are we at right now? One. Then that one get married and have one. Where are we at? So we go that way. So what we're going to do with one all the way down to nine? Huh? You got to get rid of them. So they're going to need a redeemer. That's right. That's right. Because none of these people are responsible for the action. That's right. But, but this is the thing that had to happen first. You say give a redeemer off the rip. Then you wouldn't understand the severity and the tube. See, the purpose would get you to understand two premises. I need you to understand the severity and the tube. The fact that you look at it take 10 marriages to get this straight. 10. What kind of mess is this? And you look at, listen, get all the way to eight. Number nine screws it up. We got to start back over. This whole thing a mess. Got all the way to nine. So now, these people who are in the middle who caught need a redeemer. Yeah. Because they're looking at, this is of no fault of mine. Right. I have nothing to do with that. But you need to understand what the law worked. The law didn't make, it didn't make room for that. I, although there was a length of days with it, there was certain things it just didn't have there for you for that. It wasn't in there for it. There's nothing I can do. It's just nothing now. I had nothing prepared for you with it. So now these people are going to be looking for what we're going to call mm, grace. Concede. Favor. You ain't going to believe it. I'm going to ask y'all. Can I ask y'all this? Yes, I'm going to need a huge favor. That's what they needed. They needed a huge favor. That's where Yahushua came in. So now people start to benefit. 
I'm, so now you got people who got themselves in the situation willingly. Then you got people I basically kind of got caught in the middle of this. That's why he came in and fit for everybody. Y'all see what I'm saying? You ain't going to believe it. <laughs> I mean, it's, all he did was just get the ox out the ditch. He was in a hole. We was in a bad hole. That's all he was doing, just getting the ox out the ditch. And we did it all the time. Even on Shabbat. That's all he was looking at. I got to get the ox out the ditch. See, that ox in the ditch, he was trapped, stuck, couldn't go nowhere. That's where you at. That was the person who came. How's you going to see him? You had to see him as relief. You had to see him as a redeemer. Basically, you saw what you couldn't do of yourself. No, listen. One through nine couldn't redeem themselves. Which one could redeem themselves? Nobody could. Nobody could redeem themselves. That's why Yahushua came to be so valuable to us. Because you saw a situation that clearly, I'm basically just stuck in the middle. And I have no chance or no hope. So they became desirous of it. See, it no read the desire if you gave them to them off the rip. As soon as one born, you said, don't worry about it. It's already paid for. <coughs> so I don't understand the value of what I've done. Understand the value of what I've done was to be stuck out here and watch all the people that wiped out. And guess what? It looked like, man, it's just like he ain't got no mercy. It's like, how do you do that? He said, what you mean? Talking about the law? Yeah. The first person who, in, who did it, did they know the law? Then don't look at me. You better look at this is what the law gives you. So then the people looking for relief. So that became to be a burden to you. That's why Yahushua counted you. Everybody that burden, he went, you come to me. That's right. He said, I can make it lighter. And my burdens are actually easier. Hello? Mm -hmm. But see, you don't understand it unless you understand just where the law had you registered at. See, you don't see the detriment of where you at. It was important for him to come. It was needful for him to come. It's needful for him to work just the way he said it, too. You see what those people recognize? They said, well, I ain't worried about it because under the under dispensation of Jesus Christ, I'm saved anyway. Them people ain't stupid. Them people say, man, we done. They knew, they knew what the law said, that this man's blood is on them, which means we're going to be killed by a man. Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't make sense to you. Well, th this, this is why we find him to be so valuable to us. Y'all got it. Now, dealing with new art from another perspective and started talking about how he changed his diet and how things happened to him because there was a reason. Let's say that the fifth chapter of the book of Arborine, I think at five and ten, they call it Hebrews. Arborine, they call it Hebrews. Uh, Abari, Abarim, I put the M plural. Abarim, five, see a 10. Now, this is based off of something you learned earlier, because I know y'all don't pay attention, so don't worry about it. That's what you pay me for. Listen. Kara to him of the Alahim, a Rosh Kahan, according to the order of Malak Sadiq. Yeah, I said that. He was, he was called uh, Alahim, he was called a Rosh Kahan. How important it is to you? Hands? How important? Tell me how important. That's right. They were the, those were the people that offered up for your sin. So how did you learn that? From the New Testament? You learned, so, so we need to get rid of the Torah. Exactly. That would make no sense because otherwise you wouldn't understand the value of this, this position. That him being a Rosh Kohan put him in position that he could offer a sacrifice for your Kata'in. Why y'all think he told you no man don't take my life? What did he say he do? Yeah. You ain't gonna believe what he just told you. I offered up myself. He had to be able to offer something. That's why he told you. See, you don't pay attention to speed. What was the purpose of telling you that nobody took it? He laid it down. He I gave it as an offering. So who gave it? He said, I did. How you do it? Because of my position. Because if you go down to my bloodline, you'll also see I come from Louis. So I can justify the act. It couldn't be, well, since, you know, God can do anything. See, you have come say that made absolutely no, he can't do anything. He can only do what his word says. You can do anything. You know, you know what I mean? It best says that, man, I can do anything. And you know, say, quit lying. You lie when you said all of him can do everything. Because he told you I can't lie and I can't fail. So how can he do everything? You'll be better off telling the truth. You can do everything. 
Okay, I guess so. Is it all well, I guess it's all about what you want to believe. This is why, listen, I'm telling you, it ain't hurt me. It hurt you the way you believe now. Because you're not honest. Listen. Concerning whom we have much to say. But say what? And it is hard to explain to you. Say what? In the debar, since your ears are heavy. You hear that? Or dull. He says hard to explain it because your ears, they can't take anymore. Listen what he, listen what he told you at that point. For under which is, according to many yamin, mm -hmm. you des deserve to be mure. Now, oh, you teacher. Are, now you are glad that you return and they sell Lama to you, the first principle. Oh, my goodness. He said at the time, when you ought to be a moray, a teacher, now they're going to bring you back and they're going to have to teach you again. Let's see why. Lama, you, the first principles of the Dabar of Allahim. The reason why he told you the first principle, those are, principles actually means elementary codes. That's why when kids start school, they don't start them off in high school or middle school. You start elementary because those are your basic codes that you need to learn in order to further to grow. And it also give another example, that's why when you build, you had to have a foundation. So elementary actually establishes your foundation. I can help them if they listen to me. I, mean, I can help you out the whole thing. It all refers back over the building. How do you get to high school? In front of elementary principles you get from elementary. They came up with a middle school. We had elementary to high school. Same stuff they just break up and try to make a middle school. You got it. We got that in elementary. All right, they're just making more building, wasting time. We went first through seventh, eighth grade. You was in high school. Talking about eighth grade, it can't be. I don't know what you're talking about. What they doing that so spectacular that a 13 year old can't be there? Some of the stuff people say, I don't know. I don't. Know, I guess it's just a, a too much look or dumb or something. <laughs> dumb look. It makes no sense. They kids. You got to mature anyway and learn to get. I can see you putting a third grader with a high schooler, an eighth grader. We were eighth grade. We went to high school. Mm. All right, come on. And you have need of milk and not of solid food. You have what now? Need of milk and not of solid food. Why? For everyone who kai on milk is not acquainted with the debar of Sadiq, mm -hmm. for he is still an infant. He's still an infant. Come on. But solid food is for the mature, that there, re that there is to them according to the experience of the sense that have been trained to discern between Tube and Rosha. So let me ask y'all a question. That little trip that Newark went on, and that he came out that ship, what, what exactly did he give him to eat? You know why? You can't be a babe no more. Come on. You got to be able to discern. Come on. Twenty-four. Oreo. 24 and 16. He out somewhere on another one. He on the bend. He be going. Ain't nothing wrong with that end. Remember, even a broken clock right twice. <laughs> unless somebody reach up now, twice a day, unless somebody reach up there and change it. Or y'all, they call it Luke. It means y'all shining. So we want to see where he shine at. Yes, sir. Listen. But their own were blocked that Let's they did not recognize give me, th give me 14. Let's see what happened. Yes, sir. Listen. They were speaking to each other about all these events. And it came to pass that they were speaking and arguing together. Behold, Yahushua himself approached. And While Halak, they were speaking, they were arguing together. Yahushua approached. And Halak with them. And did what? And Halak with them. And they walked with him. Yes, sir. But their own were blocked that they did not recognize him. Uh uh. Their own, their eyes were holding, blocked, kept back that they couldn't recognize him. And what happened? He said to them, What are these Dabarim that you are exchanging with each other as you are halak together on the road? They mm -hmm. stopped and their pani dejected. Come on. One of them whose shim was Ka Cleophis answered. <laughs> Cleophis answered, he said to him, are you only one residing in Jerusalem mm -hmm. that does not know what have happened within it in these Yamin? They said, they said you must be the only person stay in Jerusalem don't know what happened. Everybody know that. You are probably the only person in the whole city don't know what happened. Everybody know about this. What happened? 
he said to them, what is it? And they told him the incident of Yahushua, the Nashri, who was a Nabi, mighty in works and in speech, in presence of the Elohim and in presence of all the arm. Mm -hmm. But our Rosh Kohanim and our Zakanim arrested priest, him. And our elders, the High Kohan and the for the sentence of a moot and crucified him. Mm -hmm. To put him to death. Yes, crucify him. Come on. We had your call that he would ultimately redeem Yasharal. Your call is hope. We hoped that it had been him. That was our expectation. It had been him. Come on. But besides all this, what happened? This yum, it has been three yamim since it's, these things happened. It's been three days since this thing happened. But the Nashim, too. From and among us have the, alarmed us. The women, in, are, the mem, the women that with us, they came and let us know. Mm -hmm. In that they rose early to go to the Kubar in the morning. That they went to the grave that morning. But they did not find his basar. Well, they couldn't find his body. Then they came and reported that they also saw a kazum of Malachi saying that he was Kai. They saw a vision of messengers that told them that he would risen. Go ahead. Some Anashim with us went to the Kabar and Some found guys it just went. Mm -hmm. as the Nashim had said. Found it just like they told him. And they did not see him. And they didn't find him either. He said to them, Alas, you who lack da'ah. You see that? You that lack knowledge. What happened? And slow of love to Amun. And slow to believe. In all that the Nabaim have spoken. And all that the Nabaim had already told you. Was it not necessary for the Mashiach to bear all these things? See that? He had to do this. Yes, and sir. what happened? And to be brought into his kaboo. And for him to be brought into his kaboo. That's why he had to go through all the sufferings and things he went through. So what did he do? Then he began with Musha. So he started with the Torah. That's why he said Musha. He would have went back to the Torah, which would have been your first five books law. Y'all got it? He went back through the first five books. And what happened? And with all the Nabaim. So then he went through all the writing, the Kitavim. He went through them. Well, come on. All the Nabaim. Go ahead. And explained to them in all the Kitavim the, that spoken about him. So he went through your whole, he would have went through what they call the Tanakh. He went through the Torah. He done went through the Nabaim. He done went through the Kitavim. He done went through the writings. He was explaining about himself. Let's see what happened. They came near the village to mm -hmm. which they were going there. Yes. And he set his pine as if he were going on his rock. I told some people facial expressions show you something different. He said it face, you can tell by his face he will he wanted to keep going. What happened? But they urged him saying, mm -hmm. Stay with us. They they been to stay with them. For the time of evening, and the yum has stretched on. See that? It's gone. It's gonna be night. You don't want to be on the street at night. Come on. So he entered the Beth to stay with them. And what happened? And it came to pass when he reclined with them. As he laid back at dinner. He took lakam. And then he took bread. Barak it. And bro barak it. Broke it. Broke it. And he gave it to them. And what happened? Their, then their own were opened and they recognized him. So what, why they just didn't get it when they heard the word? Why he had to get them a diet? Why they mm. give them something? Because mm. they needed all the baby to discern. discern. Yes, sir. That's right. Don't worry about it. See, the reason why you miss and why, let me tell you what hurt you and, and for you catching on, your skill level is also with your diet. Mm. Certain foods y'all eat put you to sleep. Right, right. Certain foods don't, see, it's certain that he gave them for a reason. He gave them leave for healing. He gave them, a lot of stuff gave them food. He gave them food for eating, for diet. Everything he gave them, it equipped them for what they had to do. Right. You eat stuff that don't equip you. You're trying to come in trying to learn about salvation. You don't even eat right. I'm going to help him out. You really don't eat right for this. Look, look, the man just went over the scripture. Went all through all the book and they didn't right. get it. But then he sat down and gave him something to eat. Then his eyes were open. Mm. Mm. Already he came new. Already he changed the diet. You need to be able to discern. What they did know, they changed it once their diet changed. A lot of stuff right. you'd be surprised you'd clear up with your diet. Right, right, right. Y'all hate me. I'm telling y'all, y'all finna change us some stuff because mm -hmm. we we too far behind. That's right. We had we had deaf right. doors. That's right. I don't. You know what everybody got? This is what hurt the religion. Everybody pull be fat. I don't know where y'all get this stuff from. That makes no sense. That had nothing to do with salvation. We it's a it ain't about oh I ain't pull I ain't pull I ain't trying to be no little switch. I ain't trying to be no little bro. Quit being stupid. Y'all be tired of being a doing shovel. Right. <laughs> and eating with one. We're trying, to, we're trying to acclimate ourselves so we can properly distinguish what this man is trying to get us to do. 
And a lot of things we are missing because our health factor. Your health plays a lot of part on how much you'll register what you got to get. Mm. And you're really not paying attention because a lot of you going to put yourself in some of the detriment. Yeah. And once you get some of the detriment, what's the purpose? What's the you? Why well, I got to do all the way this? It's just a failing attitude you had to get rid of. Let me tell you what else happened. Go find anybody that lose a large amount of weight. Watch their energy level. Yeah. I'm just, watch their confidence level change. Right. It's true. It's That's true. amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Go ahead. And I'm confident fat. We confident you fat too. So let's do something else. Let's get the confidence to be able to do that. That don't, that don't impress me. I'm confident I'm fat. We are too. The purpose of when you look at because it gives them more energy as well. Listen, we're energy-based people. It's true. And we miss a lot of stuff. Even That's science, right. aren't we all tell you that we're energy-based people? People, these folks have no idea. They have no idea. Even better than something that had to be charged up and recharged. They need alternating kick power to them or they're going to be on a charger. That's the thing. When you go and charge yourself back up, look what you put in your body. Look at how you read. Look how you think. And a lot of that plays behind your diet. Okay. They can tell you years ago, you are. What you eat. I wonder why they call some stuff junk food. What is junk? Stuff you throw away. Stuff discard. What is junk? You ever heard that? Put that junk well. Or in the trash, and you put it in your body. Where were you told junk was supposed to go? Trash. You ever seen a real nice, clean junkyard? No. How they typically look? Because it's a junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's common sense stuff. Yeah. It ain't, you gotta eat everything 1%, everything 100%, but a lot of things we have got to start changing. Especially when you look at how, look how long it take you to register, to process things. And that a lot of it's through the foods, through the metals. Mm -hmm. You keep aluminum for everything you got. So you got to start looking at a lot of stuff, what you use, that microwave, I don't, I, you can use, I don't, we got a microwave, I use, we use that for story, we almost put stuff in it. And that's it, I don't cut it, I ain't cut no microwave. Now, I can't speak for all my family, I had that thing buzzing one time now. All of them took out. They, they took out running. <laughs> I was in the kitchen. Listen, I just stood in the kitchen. That thing said, ding! I said, oh, you got to come back. I said, oh, you got to come back. They ran. This him. They not probably run. That thing ran. All of them took out running. I said, I just stood there. That said, ding! I'm not worried. You got to come back. They come creeping through that aisle. I get warmed it up. Yeah, I know. I know what you done. I know exactly what you done. I heard that thing. Woo! I said, man. But you know what? When we came into when we came into really looking at that and processing to start doing things differently, it made a lot more sense. You, people don't look at the radiation you put in your foot. It's not healthy. They've taken water and put it in the microwave and poured it on plants. It killed those plants. Once you put a food, what people don't realize, let, supposedly. Microwaves were invented in Germany, and they're supposed to be illegal in Germany. They realized it was damaging people. I know a lot of y'all use it. That's fine. That's I see you look. You, you just glow. He said, let's say, you just glowing. Because all you did put radiation on it. I mean, you fine. You got radiation. Because once you cook it in a microwave, you just lost every ounce of nutrients you could ever get out of it. So all you've been eating is a filler. And we know it's fat. I just want to just melt the cheese. Well, you didn't eat no cheese anyway. At that point, no, you eat, uh, you tell me, you tell the truth. You don't eat no dairy. Once you put it in the microwave, you just cook that. So you just all. So what happened? But most people don't know this. This is what hurts you. Now instead of you feeding your body fuel, you just fed your body fuller. You just made it full. But you, your body getting absolutely. So then, how long can you continue? This is why a lot of y'all stay sick and kids. Cause I already know what you do. You play around with this stuff because you're so smart and, and it's so fat. Nobody got time waiting on the stove. But there's a better process than what you're doing. So now all you've been doing was putting filler in your body. Once you cook it in the microwave, it has zero nutrition. Zero. Nothing. So you said, woo, I'm full. You just might went well to a junkie and ate nothing boat. You got absolutely nothing out your food. That's why I stopped doing it. Common sense. If I'm not getting that out of it, why am I going to eat it? I don't go, I tell people, don't put my stuff in the microwave. I don't even want it. Right. We ain't having that long. I don't care how long you have it. I don't want it. Once I, listen, you can clearly watch it. They'll show you the regular water, pouring on plant water, they then put in the microwave, took the water, just, they let they pour high, put it, the plants died. Now, how they died getting water? 
because the water was stripped. I know what you're doing. I just made me some hot tea. You had absolutely nothing. But I know I'm the only one. I only want to know. Listen, that's your life. That's you. You fine. I couldn't hot pill. When they tell me, I said, Doctor, pull that plug loose. Don't keep wasting no time on these folks. These folks are microwave at it. Just unplug it from the wall. Them folks not serious. Plug the microwave up. It's just a certain thing when you learn better, you do better. I ain't had a microwave for years. I didn't know. What I did, but once I learned it, right. man, that's it. I don't, man, that's it. When y'all see me put something on my, I don't play with no microwave. I don't even waste my time. We got a toaster oven. I don't fool with that stuff. I don't touch no microwave. I'm not even interested. I put them in, I, I, I sit something and close the door. I'm not cutting that junk on. I'm not interested. I don't, listen, I got a brand new, I went and bought a brand new and put it in there because I changed some stuff. I used the light on the bottom every now and then. I don't even, I don't use that thing. I don't have no time for no fusion like that. Once you know it, that ain't going to benefit you what you're using it for. But then, let me tell you what it comes down to. And this, again, comes down to you loving yourself. You put stuff in, it's, it doesn't, you have absolutely did nothing for yourself. So now let's, think, let's see how, the, how where your immune system should be working. Cold, anything else coming attacking me. Shoot, man, I'm fighting it off because my body is filled with energy. It's filled with nutrition. It's filled with a darn microwave. So you can't fight nothing off. I'm tired of knowing a bunch around here sick where y'all be down so long. Michael, I go in there when they have, going out, meat crushed up, <laughs> blowed up in that popcorn, stuck at the top of it. Look like burnt boogers on that whole little plate. I don't know. I go in your, I don't even, I don't even go in your kitchen. I, know, I can smell it. That microwave. I said, I don't even worry about it. <laughs> then when it's so bad, they sit right in front of you at Glenn Tomasa. Man, you see my eyes turning green. You better get your behind in front of that microwave. Joker right. sitting out staring. Mm, that little red just hit him in the eye. So like a cancer patient. Y'all better stop in front of that thing, man. I don't know. Listen, I know, I know a lot of y'all hurt right now. That cast it to them hurt hands. Anybody want to bond to them hurt hands? Don't even do it. Don't even worry about it. I mean, I'm just telling you, a lot of this stuff, a lot of I know, listen, that's, but listen, it ain't a sin. You just gotta get smarter where you start really caring about yourself. And a lot of times, oh, I ain't trying to be all that hell to get killed by a car. But you're gonna get killed by it. Cause they gotta, but see. Let me tell you, I know, because you'll typically try to justify what you're doing by some extreme. It still doesn't make sense to be stupid. Right. You're getting zero out of the food. But it tastes good. Understand, tasting good is one thing. It has to taste good because your mouth has a palate, your tongue. Your tongue is the first saline of defense before it goes down to your belly. What does it taste like? Some shift in your mouth. Spit that junk out before it gets here. It doesn't want, every decision can't be made here. When decisions get here sometimes, they can be bad, critical decisions that you wind up dying. So the tongue is designed to taste. Mm -mm, mm -mm, this don't taste right. Give me a knuckle. That's your first line of defense. Not to mention your eyes. Look at it. He give you all the senses. Smell it. Smell kind of funny. And you're still eating it. You know how dumb you are? You just broke every ritual. It didn't look right. It smelled funny and it tasted, it had a, a weird taste to it and you kept eating it. You are justifying stupid to the highest level. Why do you think he give you all this? Three lines of defense before it get in your stomach and you eat something bad. You tell me you didn't taste nothing? You didn't see nothing? You didn't smell nothing? Because you get so greedy. Like he's an eye full of dirt, you can't even see. See, why do you think he give you all these lines of defense? To try to avoid certain things. To avoid it. When they gave you who should that cup and he drank, what did he do at that point? They said he tasted it. He went drinking. He had a lot of cups. This stuff didn't even taste right. I don't even want none of it. It's just, he tasted it. He, he told you it was sour. It was vinegar. He was like, I don't want it. I'm good. It's a lot of defense. He only drank it because of the Torah. Y'all got to have three lines of defense, and we are so stupid, you don't even use them. Waste of time. That's what it calls senses. I guess we ain't got them. I know it hurt you. I know y'all go home and kiss that microwave, bow down, pray to it, and apologize. Oh, there ain't nothing but old, old wicked preacher. Mad at the microwave. White man try to give something to help us out and preach a killer. It ain't helping you. Listen, these people have given you enough stuff to kill you. That between that microwave, between that TV radiator, look at how much, go stand in front of that TV, so I'm going to heat that thing radiate. You can cook a room with that thing. Man, that black and white we had, that thing, you could touch that thing, that thing just be the cool. Get them plies sticking and flipping. 
Now we lay back, TV looking at you and you looking at the TV. TV just radiating in there. <laughs> they killing us. So I'm going to sit right up on the bottom of it. Joker sit here, TV right in here, right here in their eye. Get back. Get your, I mean, we were looking, they told you, get, get from in front of that TV. Go blind. We were looking, ain't playing. Yeah, what's that? Get back. They had you scared to you mess around and go blind. Little kid, screw that. Get back. Get back from in front of that TV. Man, we got a 95 inch and the baby sitting right there. We got the thing right on top of the baby crib. All the stuff that we were taught, we were little. We just done disregarded. Look at it. Look at it. it. It's showing. Look at our kids. Look at us. They sick. They go to the restaurant. They people don't put my stuff in the microwave. You can keep that. I don't want that. I'm not eating that stuff. We heat it up right quick. How you heat it up in the microwave? I don't want that. We just heat it, and I just rejected it. I'm not eating that stuff. I mean, it don't make sense. I'm not gonna pay to put just put some. You can eat paper and get more nutrition. Go ahead and tell you. How many are you the microwave? One. She was on him with here. Now, don't worry. You, you can be safe. I got one more seat. You can be safe. You think I believe all these folks on you the microwave? I know these folks be glowing. I'm going to give me one of the microwave. I'm going I'm to get them. Oh, when I hear them doing that, they're going to say, where the mic at? Oh, no. Ain't no mic for this one. I got one. Oh, yeah. How long, how many, how long that man be out? No, no, no. But, but, but just you, for example, not, not to kill it, but, you know, because I can do it without killing it. So, uh, <laughs> so no, but in saying that, but then you just, just, just consider this. Do you see how long it take you to recover from stuff? So now you got to start looking at the foods. It can be healthy food, but once it gets radiated in that microwave, you just lost that. You could eat paper. And now his body wasn't getting anything for a defense to fight. That's why you got to feed your body. It needs a defense. You know say You want me to fight? Give me some gloves. Get me some weapons so the food you eat weaponize your body so it can be a defense. As well as he told you knowledge is a defense. Okay. Why the man told him he gave him the book, he told the man to eat the whole roll. That's right. Okay. It's all about the diet. It's all about how you process things, how you think. It's all about what you put in yourself. Why you have to eat the whole roll? Guess what? In order to get it to where, because of how your body set up, we talked about it. When you see some. He said, what does that smell? That's what you said, mm-mm, that thing don't smell right. Or maybe it smells just a little bit, just in case you want to The look of it look like. All these things are throw you, the look and the smell. What's telling you to keep eating? Then once it get in your mouth and your tongue taste, it confirms what your eye and your nose smell. And it said, at that point, throw that junk up at this table. Because all these defensive, because once it gets him, you are vulnerable. This is, listen, once it gets him, it's no more protection. This will start processing. Break it down, let's shoot it through this body. It gets really bad before it start to say, <clears throat> try to push it up. But the first line is your eyes, your nose, and your tongue. Y'all got it? Hearing the ear makes you smart and realize, learn to avoid a lot of this stuff. I know y'all look at convenience and doing it. Some of them don't use there, they go you the neighbors. That way they ain't lying. <laughs> I don't use my microwave. Or they use the one at the jaw. I don't know what people I don't use my microwave at home. I use the one on the job. I know. Oh man, these people, y'all thought these folks slick on El- they real slick out of El- Squid. Woo, somebody got cut there. Go use their neighbor microwave. So it's just stuff you do, but you just gotta start staying away. But we are looking to clean up our eating. Because we need that mental clarity. We need the health for defense. We need the knowledge of this word. Listen, what we're, what we're actually endeavoring on trying to obtain salvation is going to take more than us just coming here and just sitting here. Because that's not what he had them do. He gave them a diet too. He gave them a regimen. He gave them a way of life, how they were supposed to do things so they would understand. They would have the ability to do. You just typically today, what people do, they just come somewhere, gather, sit, listen. Oh. Oh. This. this. Do you really understand what you're doing? Right, right. That's what me. I want I want to understand what I'm doing. How I know I'm not in transgression. Mm-hmm. You don't want to just keep doing something and not knowing. I need to know. Y'all got it. And you need to know how things affect you. Okay? That makes sense. So we saw what happened when they got their diet. We see what happened when they coming back in. So that, that's why it's needful for us to make these changes, these transitioning. Because since we understand now and we know what he was actually trying to get. So the whole purpose when he got Newark and set Newark to rule and his sons, was it about Newark and his sons? 
or is it about the seeds that are going to proceed from them? Because after that, after though we know he established everything with them, we wind up looking at he came and got Abraham and built from him. Listen, all those people from New York to got to Adam. His father, Tura, Pele, Ra, whose name, and his name at that time meant divide, uh, Abra, whose name was uh, the other side when they built the tower. See, everybody was named to do something. First try, he let you know what I need you to do. I need you to go on the other side. He, and that was in the day when they built the tower, he had a son. His son name was Pila, which means to separate. He had a son named Separate. Can you imagine that? So who all you think his son you to hang out with? Randy, Michael, <laughs> Bobby. Jermaine, who, I'm saying, who y'all think he was hanging out with? Your name Separate. Who you think he was with? The man named that divide, man. We need to say his daddy name was Other Side. So when they know to separate, where are we going to go? What's your name, Daddy? Other side. What's the other side? Whatever side they ain't on. You know who else, you know who daddy became valuable to? To your cold. Cause in the day when he looked there when Laban didn't do him right, you know who name came up? P Love. It's time to separate. And then when they got there, they built the wall. You know what your cold told him? May you who will walk between me and you while we ask them one for another. Laban, where you going? He said, I'm going to the other side. Y'all understand that? Yes, we was on. A, okay, I'm just trying to help you out. Look, you said all these practices that came into play. I'm going to be on the other side. So he had to separate them because you know what he looked when he talked to the Yasharal. He started talking to them. Basically, they would call the children of Yasharal. That's what he kept referring to them first. They were first referred to as the children of. You ain't gonna believe it because I was looking for a seed. I would not have been talking to Yasharal because I wanted a seed. That's why I refer to them as the Benim of Yasharal. Are y'all paying attention to me? Yes, and the reason why you keep falling because you don't pay attention. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why he kept addressing them as the Benim of Yasharal. Mm -hmm. Then they got to a point that he started calling them Yasharal. And they should have been paying attention. Because yeah. right. I'm calling you Yasharal. You should know I'm going to get me a seed. Mm -hmm. I only got you for the stalk. I'm getting a seed. See, they pay attention to transition in the man's speech. I'm trying to tell you, he told me Yasharal, what did he say Yasharal was? Oh, what would that make him the firstborn? That's going to make him a seed. I'm trying to help y'all out. Is that making sense to some of y'all? So everybody keep running around hunting Yasharal. I'm glad to hear it. I already know what he's trying to get. He's trying to get a seed. Hello? I'm trying to help y'all out. Now let me help y'all get yourself back over. Because there are things you have to look at, you have to start considering when you look at these things. Because if you be the Mashiach, then you're Abraham C and you're heirs, that's the only way you're going to get it. You got to be the seed. See, they know that. See, if you be Ab Abrahamic religion, don't know what you're talking about. No one knows what you're talking about. No one knows what these people are talking about. People just creating their own little theories. The man clearly told you that if you be Abraham's seed, then are you an heir. I really want us to get this and understand the rationale and reasoning to what you have to do. The third chapter of the book of Yerukanon, 3 and 1. Hold you right before you get that. Well, Galatians. He'll come back. Galatians. Look at this. Three and one. This is dumb. Let's get this first. Yeah. Let's get this. I'm trying to get y'all finished up. You who are willing. Y'all give me a little bit and try to get y'all finished. Listen. Three and one. Galatians. We'll try to roll down through him. Listen. You lacking da'ath. You hear what he say you lack? Now, why, why would he tell you that? Well, I mean, you got to think. Man, just, I just come up and just tell you, boy, you ain't got no knowledge. What am I basing that off of? Yeah. Off your actions. Off of your actions. Let's see what he said. Galatians, who has bewitched you with your pa, that you should not obey the Amat. See that? Uh -huh. Before whose womb, after that, Yahushua HaMashiach was executed, 
as having been crucified. You let somebody mouth talk you out of what's fact. That bre- you know, he realized you, you don't have knowledge. You couldn't the fact that you let somebody come and run their mouth and talk you out of what was evident. They seen it. You know, typically they get people come to court who they look for? Eyewitnesses. And he just told you, and you seen it. And you let somebody seduce you with their mouth. Listen. <clears throat> this only I want to learn from you. What happened? Did you receive the Ruach, whether by the works of the Torah Mm-mm. or by Shama with Amunah? Uh-oh. That's what he want to know from them. He said, can you answer a question from me? He said, this is something I want to know. How did you get the Ruach HaKadosh? Did you get it from the works of the law? Because that would make sense. There was never a commandment about obtaining a spirit through the law because there wasn't one. If there had been a commitment or writing of obtaining the Ruach HaKadosh by the law, then it would make no sense of the promise. Hello? That's why he's asking them. All I need to do is just tell me how you got it. Listen. Are you foolish so much, having begun in the Ruach, are you now being Talmin by the Basar? That's what he said. Now you start off in the Ruach, now you're trying to say that you, you were made perfect by the flesh? Because you got to remember something. You're looking at the Torah. You're looking at something. That's all it could give him at best. He's looking at four men that couldn't make him perfect. Now you're going to say you became perfect by the flesh, by the keeping of doing of the law? You couldn't have. So he's trying to get these people to understand. You started out in the Ruach. How did you get back over to the works of the flesh? That's right. Listen. Did you endure so much in vain, if indeed it was in vain? That's what he said. He said, then you did all this and you went through and suffered, obtained, and it was in vain because you hadn't really <clears> achieved. <throat> now you've gone back from it. That's why we have to be careful now. So is getting the Ruach just enough? The Ruach had to coach, it had to be constantly cultured and, and, mo, and, um, and nourished. Y'all got what I'm saying? This is what you learn. He telling these people they've attained it. But look at what he said happened. Didn't I tell you about conversation in people before? Okay. He just tried to tell you. The people be wishing with their mouth. Y'all, you know how you waiting to get it so you can go and then you can withstand everybody. No, you become more intelligent and realize you can't entertain everything people have to say. All right. Now, listen, I talk to people. I tell them, well, I don't waste a whole lot of time. They start talking, trying to teach me. All right, end of the conversation. We're done. End of the conversation. Because I can't afford it. Somebody bewitch me. And people bewitch you. Y'all get caught up. Y'all jump on these sites. Somebody said, you who? Oh, they, they know the language. Man, that stuff, I don't know what y'all. That, I know my member. They just as simple as they can. Y'all so <laughs> simple, Simon. So they see one word. Yahushua, they say, Yahushua. And your point? And your point? I'm looking at actions, behavior. And call that use it. Listen, keep moving. <coughs> More power to you and must have said you're doing right. If not, I won't be the one to find out because I don't entangle myself. Yes, sir. I tell you, like, I know they do. I know they be on all these sites. A lot of I snatch all your social Come media down by head. That's right. Because I know they don't know how they I yep. know they don't. First time they see somebody with a word, they run to them. Hey, brother, <laughs> sister, sister in Jesus. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> they get gone. I'll like, be like, they gone. No. I don't entertain. I ain't saying nobody else ain't right. That's not my teaching. I just leave people where they at. <laughs> I use the same theory you did. The, the Talmudine here taught one. They seen a man teaching his name. You said he's not against it. Then he for keep Come moving. On. He said I ain't got this. He ain't stopped to say, man, we need to hook up. Where you be having your services at? I'm gonna come at your temple and teach. He had that man. Now he told him, listen, if he's not against it, then he for Come on, keep moving. Yes, sir. They left him alone. They want to stop him. He said, Yehusha didn't say about hooking up with him. Listen. We all going to get together in due time. Come on. Everybody tell me, I don't see why all these camps can't get together. First of all, we ain't no camp. Right. Okay? We're in a building. We ain't camping. We ain't outside. We're in no hot pockets. That's and right. that other stuff. Get all that camping out your mind. That's okay? right. I don't know why folk come to this stuff. Y'all should have been a camp. Say they, that man came and stabbed him. Where they trying to right. use him a camp? <laughs> y'all never just did. Get rid of these dumb conversations, y'all. That's right. I, come say I, did, I don't be want to hear that stuff. That's right. Yeah, you know, such a camp. Are the people outside? Mm hmm. They was in Vermont while they were right. camping. That's right. What the fuck like camping when they was in Jerusalem? The fuck had houses. Right. Nobody never referred themselves to no camp. Where y'all get this from? We not no camp. Right. If we would, we'd be a concentration. You'd That's be thinking. Right. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yeah. Well, come out of that stuff, man. They old juvenile junkie in the street. 
Come on, no camping and all this stuff. Just stop it. <laughs> I don't know why they get stuck with this stuff. It was a tribe, Mata. A lot of stuff. I don't know why folks come to this stuff. I just don't, I don't like all this stuff. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, because I'm telling you, right. it's a thinking that goes with mm -hmm. it. You get slack. Them count, they slack. Yeah. They yeah. fool around. I don't like all that stuff. I just don't like it. They say they fool around here. That's why I, I put my foot down on. We was a count, we'll keep going. Yeah, lay upside a tree somewhere. Ain't that right? Get in here. He got in a building, so you got an order with him. Come on, come That's why he on. took them folks out and said, yes, you know sir. what? He let out, I need to keep your feet from moving. I need come to put on. you in one yes, place. Sir. They were moving to them. I'm telling you, that's why he sat right. down. He said, I need to put y'all in one place. Yes, sir. Ain't no more camps. He let them folks know. He said, I'm going to build me a house. Come on. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. All right. Come on. <clears throat> Behold, he supplies the Ruach to you and working by the mighty works of power among you. Mm -hmm. you, do, you do these works of the Torah or by the mighty Shama with Amunah. Well, he won't look at it about the things that were manifest and done among them. How exactly were they done? Were they done it uh, the keeping of the law or was it through the works of the promise? Come on. That Allah right. had already established to us. Before we received the Torah, he had already given us the promise. This is something that people don't pay attention to. Adam had laws. Abraham had laws. But the law that people typically regard the day that he gave them, that he gave to the <coughs> Benim of Yahshua Raw were not established. Not to that decree. But the promise was. He told you the only reason he added the promise was because of transgressions. See, you needed something to come in to show people where they were right or wrong at. Y'all got it? So the dieting and the restricting them allowed them to be able to sit around and discern whether or not a behavior should be done. And the reason why you lack it because you don't understand the importance of the tour. That's why you can't get rid of it. It's there to show you what's right and what's wrong. And understand the penalty, but now because of the diet and the keeping of the Torah, and not just the, the natural food we eat, but the food we take in and when we sit down and we eat the, the bar, the word. Y'all got what I'm saying? It's to help you so you can discern. When you sit around and you're doing the wrong acts and you still commit sin and willfully, then you need to check your diet. I'm talking about uh, what you eat in other word is whether what you eat in other places, because it's detrimental to you. You should be discerning to realize that's not going to be profitable. That can't possibly work out. That's not going to be conducive to salvation. My diet teaches me that because I'm eating the word. Y'all yes, got, he wants me to understand the value of the tour. You need the tour right there. He told you it was added because of transgression. That's why he put it down. I got to cut people off. I got to stop people. People got to see the value of the promise. You can't obtain it by the law. The law going to be against you because you're against the law. That's only natural. The law is not a proponent for you. The law is calling for you. That's how sin get its strength by the law. If that's not a law, then I can't actually condemn you for it. Hello? So the Torah came in and the law, and guess what? Sin found it can use the Torah to condemn you. But Elohim had already established before you got the law that I'm going to say you by promise. Because I already knew what the intent was. It gave leeway for your life. That's what the law gave. It gave leeway for your life to take it from you. <clears throat> and it had no real longevity. All they could do at best is give you length of days. Just a little length. So we saw the promise so much more. This a more, he told you, a more enduring substance. Y'all got it? Something that proceeds go past. Y'all got it? So you should have seen the, the promise as life and not the law. Right. Y'all right. got it? Yes, sir. The law worked against you. That's right. Hello? I'm just telling you, all the law going to do, the law going to find sin. That's right. That's right. Law going to find sin. I'm just telling you, the law going to find sin. Them signs out on that street, 55, 35, 65, and 70, you ain't going to believe it. They find the sin. That's right. They going to get somebody. It might get you. It going to get somebody. Every night you're right, you see somebody pull it over. That's the law. Yeah. That's what it's there for. Ain't that right? The law, that, listen, the law that'll condemn a man. That's what it's there for. It'll let you know. I pulled you over. Why? You were wrong. You can argue, I, 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 I ain't see it. I guarantee they don't change it. The, guess what? The law with him, whether you seen it or not, like the other dumb folk, he ain't going to sit in the hell and charge them because they don't know it. That police go, when, when the police until he ain't going to get a ticket, you didn't know no, you didn't know what the speed was. Anything he look at, you, you should have known. That's a requirement of your license. You're supposed to know about it. You're supposed to know the law. You agree to this. Don't you know when y'all getting a license, you consent already to accepting the penalty of that? That's true. That's right. Most of you folk, how many of right. y'all didn't know that? 
You know what your driver license is? It's a privilege. That's right. You also, when you signed it, you agreed to whatever the penalty is that you violate, that you agree that you will sign for it and that you will accept it. You ain't going to believe it. You join yourself to the tour. You understand everything in it. You say you good with it. That's right. That's why he can't get why people complaining when they suffering, when something going wrong. He can't he can't understand it because you want the benefit, right? I don't see how you don't want the other part because it goes with it. You transgressed it. Why shouldn't you get that part? You say if you do what's right. How many of y'all, if you find out you supposed to be getting a billion dollars from the tour, you don't want it? How, where you at? How, a billion dollars for keeping the tour. How many of y'all don't want it? That's amazing. All right. How many of y'all find out you don't transgress it and you won't go to Sheol, you don't want it? You know what he said? He said, wow, that's interesting. He said, but you're going to take the billion. Oh, yeah. yes, you see what I'm saying? But you ain't going to take the billion. Mm -hmm. See, the, the way he had it, you can't have it. You can't have it both ways. You got to have it one way. That's when right. the one way with him is, you got to take both of them. That's right. See, you want, because everybody look at it. I'm not going to turn no benefit. He said, and I ain't going to turn down not giving you the destruction either when you transgress it. See, you understand the premise better now. So now, that's how they looked at the Torah. Life and death. Baraka and all are. Blessing and curse, they call it. You see what I'm, that's how they had to see it. That all of this was contained in the same Torah. This is at best, this is what you get from it. So they saw the promise exceeding that. Go figure. The promise, it delivered a man from death. Just to prove it to you. He told Abraham to take his son and what he want him to do with him? The offer. He'll make an offer, kill him. And then what happened? Stayed his hand. Stay his hand. What had he had a ram in the bush? He ain't gonna believe it. It was because of the promise, Leon. If he'd have killed him, what was gonna happen to the promise? That's right. See, so which one? Which one for exceed? The promise. The promise. He was gonna kill him. He thought the man take him and kill him, <coughs> offer him to me. But when he got there because of the promise, he told him to stay his hand. I already made preparation. It's a ram in the bush. So you ain't gonna believe how he saw the promise. I said that life saving. Life savings. Sometimes you get people, everything they got, they say, man, that's my, life. That's my whole life savings. Mm -hmm. That's how he looked at it. See, the promise offered a whole better look on this whole thing. Listen, I, 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 we can go a lot further. I, ain't gonna, I don't want y'all to, because I don't want to fuss at you. Because you ain't paying attention, you, you ain't catching it, you ain't getting it. Look at your diet, mm -hmm. look at your behavior, look at where you're trying to go. Really weigh this and see what makes sense for you. Because this, I've been with y'all. This not for everybody. It's really not. Even those watching, it's not for everybody. You can't just keep sitting around listening before you have to make up a mind. Either you're gonna start digressing, or you're gonna, or you're gonna start making some real progress. That's right. That's right. You can't keep sitting around and using that for no cover. Eventually, you gotta make your decision, make your mind up to look at. I gotta go all the way. I've been there. I've been there. Where you start at? When you start? The sooner you start, the sooner you get away from first base. That's right. Right now, you ain't even made the first base. They trying to look at home plate. If I was you, I wouldn't do it. You ain't even up the bat. I don't know why they're looking at home plate. You know what I'm saying? That's the game. You got to get in the game to win it. Sure. That's it. It's like a lot of folks. Man, goodness. Man, you ain't got that thing up. They got a $1.2 billion. Yeah. What would I do with $1.2 billion? You had me have a plate. Hey, play. No. I don't even know why you're talking about it. <laughs> right. What's the chance of me? Why am I even up here talking about what, what I can do with one point two? You got to play to be a winner. See what I'm saying? It don't make sense. Nobody just gonna give me no one point two billion. You gotta play to be a winner. For any chance, you gotta be in it, right? How you gonna get the raw hockey dice? You any minute? What's your chances? What's your chances? You see, your chances are greater than somebody who's sitting on the sideline just talking, who's not even getting involved. So at some point, you gotta get up and you gotta get involved. We gotta start with the fear. We gotta start with the fear. Y'all got it. Then we got to be taught so we learn how to walk. Y'all got just like a baby. You get them, you hold their finger sometimes. Uh-huh, come on. You know what I'm saying? Let them go here. And you let them walk with them. They say, you, you be right there with them because I don't want them to fall. That's what he told now to him to able to for, and present you. That's why they be walking. This, he said, this is what I was doing with you. You were coming up. Look at her. Oh, oh, oh. Got them back up. They, they good. Come on, come on. Come just making sure they don't fall. That's it. That's all they were doing. Then eventually you got to learn how to stand. Eventually you got to learn how to stand. Hello? 
I'm just helping y'all out. You gotta learn how to stand. But then, and then you have. To, then we got to create this a heart for him. Let me help you out. These are the three basic functionalities I want you to work on. Fear. Then I want you to learn on how you listen it so you can learn how to walk. Then I want you to learn to have an appreciation where you're going to adore him, you'll harp him. That's the only way you're going to be able to do it. it makes, I couldn't do nothing if I ain't harp him. I couldn't do it. And I had to fear him. And I got to know how to walk. Otherwise, that's when I read it, I can explain it. Because there's no way to do this. Don't, 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 you know people say, just, just do it and just trust him. That's going to be like the bad, wrong advice. Don't do nothing and just trust him. Make sure you understand it. Otherwise, you're going to falter. You're going to fail. You're not going to have anything really to be an unction to push. Have that right of anointing to push. To have the belief that I can do this. I'm trying to help you all out. You want it. Start with fear. Start with fear. Then you got to pay attention and learn how to walk. Then you got to create the aha. Not, figment, not, not a figment of your imagination. You create it from understanding where you are. Wherever you've been. What you don't deserve, and the fact he still got you him. I love him. That's how I learned to love him. That's all the mistakes, all my mistakes. People are like, why I keep making so many mistakes? I'm going to teach you how to love me. Even you, how many of y'all been sick of yourself of making mistakes? How many of you have been tired of yourself? You don't know what to do with yourself. You ain't going to believe it. He said, but I love you. And when you realize that, you come back to realize something. I really, really appreciate you not giving up on me. I didn't see myself making it, and you did it. So it's not something you just don't, don't, don't listen to people say, well, you, you just got to love him. No, no. That makes no sense. Don't just love him. That's, get, that's like getting in a bad relationship. You learn to love him. That is. It's the affection. It's what he does. It's the care. It's the desire for him. All those things. Just like a woman with a high woman love a baby in her belly. She ain't never seen it. You know, I'll just sign on show you no picture of how the baby gonna look. You just see a little shaped body. But she love it, she'll rub it, and she'll even talk to it. And desire it, even though it costs her pain. Y'all got it. None of that override uh exceed the fact that she loves it and she wants it. And she wants to embrace it for herself. He lets you know if you understand a mother's love for a child unborn and the desire to have it when it comes out to full uh full potential, he said, That's how I am with you. You cost me pain, but I still love. That's why Yahushua was able to put up with you. Oh, it hurt. It hurt. Oh, he got so sick. You know, sometimes you get sick from food. He got sick. That's why, you know, sometimes you, y'all know how you pray sometimes you can't stand the smell of stuff or some taste of just make you, mmm. That's how it was for him. That's why he couldn't finish drinking it. Did y'all know he was pregnant? Hello? That's what he was doing up on the tube. He was having a baby. So sometimes you have to restrict your diet because of what you're carrying. Because there's some kind of other supplements you have to take because of what you're carrying. Hello? Yes, you ain't going to believe it. He was eating for two. <laughs> Come on. How many of y'all had a baby? How many were you eating for? It wasn't just for you, was it? You eating for the baby too. Some of the things you didn't even desire. Some stuff that you come at, you hated after you got finished. But when you prayed for something, really, you was like, I don't know why it was out eating that. Because that was desire. And you didn't know why he came and gave his life up. You ain't going to believe it. It was because what was inside of him. It made him desire to do it. Yes, sir. How many of y'all had a certain thing you were eating to death? So like you were eating a lot of them when you were pregnant. And then after you got through, you ain't touching no more. You don't know why. That's, a, you did, that's what the baby make you do. That's what made him taste death for everybody. Why would a person sit up and just drink poison? Go figure. It's because of what he was carrying. You'll do that. Women should understand that, shouldn't y'all? Well, you should understand the relationship. You should also understand you should have a love for him. How you felt about that baby? You hated that baby? You still love that baby? Then you understand how he deals with you. Even though you call me pain. And y'all caused me a lot of discomfort. That's what they look at. Guess what? I still love you. And I see your face. I forget all about this stuff. Hello? How many women, when you had that baby, you said, as soon as you had it, all they're doing, serving, all they're doing, eating that stuff. How many of y'all, that first thing came out of your mind? Wasn't even a thought, was it? It was the relief. You had gotten it out, ain't it? That's how I can forgive you. He said, we made it. That's how you look at it. We made it. You made it. That's it. He said, pay for it all. 
See, it's certain things in life you have to go through and experience for you to understand the relationship that you have with him. That's that he already knows you're going to cause him some pain. He already knows some suffering behind it. But then he's looking at the reward. Hello? That's it. Hello? Y'all with me? Yes, sir. Oh, no. I'm watching y'all trying to figure. I don't, that's why I said I don't want to bore y'all, but it's, it's so much we got to do. It's a lot of work. We're going to get it done. You who are willing. But I really need y'all to really consider your diet. I'm talking about just not naturally. I'm talking about ruachne. I want you to consider your behavior. I want, to see you to, I want you to consider the consequences and the severity of decisions you might have. I always consider your decision when you make one. What's the outcome? What, what's my worst case scenario? I always know that. What's my worst case with this? And that should help you make a better decision. Look at worst case. So, well, that's the worst case, but that shouldn't happen. Now we're being stupid. Now we're being stupid. What's the worst case? Nine times of ten. Don't forget, you are janky. <laughs> worst case is always first. Don't ever tell me, this is the worst case now, but that shouldn't happen. You know you're janky. So when you find the worst case, you realize where they're going to put you. That should help you make a better decision. Realize just what's on. I was you. I done went on and done it. You ain't me. And this is what I'm going to do. I got to look at my soul. Y'all got it? You can't take everybody advice. You got to go with what works for you. Y'all got it? They tell me what's good for the goose is good for the guy. I don't even know what the gander is. I don't have, I'm not, I don't have no reason doing what a goose do in the first place. Okay, I don't know. What, what's the gander? That's the male one? Well, we're coming out, we ain't talking about no gander. The gander is the male one. Pull up, they find what a gander is. I'm talking, my memory can't be ignorant. Somebody know, we're going to find out. Y'all heard that was good for the goose, good for the gander? The gander got to probably be the male one, but I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't even know why we're doing what a goose doing in the first place. Why don't you go lay an egg? A gander, other form of gander. A gander is a male goose, I figure, and also an insult. Meaning, what that simpleton, a bit like calling someone a silly goose. Woo, silly goose. Woo. <laughs> it's got to be something. Justin, I'm not you. You ain't white enough. Chris. Yes, sir. Well, this assault, white people, we call them a silly goose. No, sir. <laughs> Who is it for, Justin? Silly goose. Silly oh, goose. <laughs> Who would that insult? Would that be insulting to a white person? Uh, I guess it depends on the person. See that? Uh uh, the other white man shaking his head said he don't agree. <laughs> the penalty. What happened? Only a child. He said only a child. Not an adult white person. Not an adult white person. <laughs> so we know that. So what you say about that, Justin? I mean, I mean kind of like, like trick cereal. Trick cereal. <laughs> yeah, tricks are for kids. Yeah. This is really scary. <laughs> <laughs> when I see two white people working together, it really bothers <laughs> me. <laughs> but no, that that that's that's something though. Um Y'all kids, we all change the diets. Y'all kids, we all Chanel clap too. Extra sick. Interracial marriage, they'll do that to you. But um, no, I'm, I'm going to get ready to let y'all go. But I do want to make sure you hear when we come back that we kind of go through some more and try to dissect this thing, get um, the gist of what it is he wants to understand and know and halak in it. The goal is to obtain the raw hakadash, okay? And in order to get it, we want to make sure we go through and properly dissect the, the steps. Like they say, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that he wrote, raised him from the dead, and you shall be saved. Does that be practical? That's not, it's more entailed into that. You have to be talking to a people that had a better understanding. And this will be the only thing they will lack. But from our situation where you guys lack the amuna, there's no way to please him unless you believe that he is here that he is who he is, and that he's a reward of them that digitally seek him. So my goal in um, trying to obtain his salvation is the reward, and that he'll give it to me if I stay consistent. I had to believe that, like some of you, the reason why you're inconsistent, because you don't really believe he's going to reward you. But he said if you come to him, you have to believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently do it, meaning my consistency has a rationale to it. You'll say, well, I'm going because preachers said we're supposed to keep, you got to get past that. That's child's talk. You can't be saying it because preachers said it. It ain't called preachers said it. It's because that's what's written. They were pushed off of what was written. 
Because they looked at that was solid. Remember, that it was put on a stone. It was solid. And they gave them that. That's what they understood. The word solid. Y'all got it. Where was it written at? They knew it was solid. Right. They knew, guess what? You could stand on it. Because yeah. it was solid. It was on stone. See, everything figuratively that he was saying was literal as well. It was solid and it was something you could stand on. You could build on the word. Because he told him, if a man build, where he going to build at? On a rock. And he actually had it written on a rock. So you could build that, let them know, I could literally build off of the word. Think about it. Think about it before you come in. So I want you to think about your decision. How serious are you? How, how vested are you in this? I want y'all to look at it. It makes a difference. You're going to be fully vested. You're going to be fully vested, throwing everything, willing to go all the way, or don't even do it. Don't even do it. Don't just, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it a shot. No, don't give it a shot. I want you to put everything in on it if you're going to do it. This is for your soul. We're at the end of this. You can't afford to be wrong. What would it hurt if you put everything in and we get to the end of this and you make it? What is going to hurt if you don't put everything in we get to the end? And you want to go into Sheol. Think about it. What is going to hurt? Either way. What is going to hurt? Who knows what is going to hurt? If you put everything in and you make it in. What is going to hurt? What is going to hurt if you don't put everything in and we get to the end you don't make it? That's all I'm asking. You. What is it going to hurt? Use your head. Don't be stupid. Ain't no, well I might not put everything in. I get to the end and what if it ain't nothing? You want to take a chance to do that? That's you. But the man done wrote years, hundreds of years back, thousands of years back before you got him. He already told you this stuff. And it's happening. Why are he gonna get wrong? Why is he gonna come up wrong at the end? Everything he told you, man, doing, didn't he tell you we're gonna get worse and worse? Yep. Are they getting better? Yep. Man, we're we now, in the last couple of years, four or five years, we're seeing more politicians had to step down, go to jail, president around the country, everybody coming up guilty. People that we never, you had these conversations, you don't even had a conversation about no looter. You brush on the skirt, mm, that's a world leader. You don't have, no, nah, world leader going to court, international criminal court. Yes, everybody being prosecuted. You who are trying to show you? Nobody getting by. We, you know, we thought, man, if I had the position, I'd be untouchable. I don't know where you got that lie from. Everybody touchable. And that's what he's showing. Because people start looking at it. People desire no position because they feel like this gives them a safe hole. You heard tell you, ain't no safe hole for nobody. That's why you can't be stupid. He's only letting you see these people get taken down because you on deck. You be a fool now. These people coming down, and this is all by the order, Mr. Yahuwah. All these people, look, these are the people that make decisions for the whole world. How they get in trouble? Yahuwah letting you know, I'm executing my pot on everybody. I start from the top to the bottom. Your time coming up next. That's why you got to get more adamant about getting serious about your salvation, okay? Y'all good? Yes, sir. All right, that's too. Appreciate it.